messianic prophecy that would talk about jesus it was said in that prophecy that of the increase of his government and his peace there will be no end that means of the continual advancement and expansion of christ his purposes and the peace that comes in that kingdom there will be no end so this is a kingdom that grows please understand this he says i will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail i know that looking at society right now it looks like the church is not growing it looks like the purposes of christ is not advancing but i want you to know that the church is growing and the purposes of christ is advancing the bible declares that it is god's desire that the lordship of christ be established first in the hearts of men please say the hearts of men one more time say the hearts of men and then number two across territories so kingdom advance is twofold the establishment of the lordship of christ first in the hearts of men the purposes of christ must be established in the hearts of men then number two it must be it must be frontiered across territories that means it is not enough that individuals be saved it is not enough that individuals come under the governing influence of the christ it is time to start taking cities cities the bible says these are they the book of acts that have turned the world upside down the story of revival as we read first from scripture and then through modern history talks about men and women according to hebrews 11 the bible says they subdued kingdoms everybody says subdued kingdoms I'm teaching us this dimension because I was so touched dealing with the teachings that I had with um, CGC and then it, I was reminded again that it is not enough for us to just win souls in terms of individuals it is time for us to obtain grace from God to start taking cities he says ask of me of the hidden I will give them to you for your inheritance hallelujah praise the lord it is time for us to take systems structures nations and bring them under the lordship of the christ this is one of the ways that the kingdom will advance now look up i gave an analogy in the morning while teaching during the church service uh, of cgc and i told them that you may not have seen the founders of nokia or um blackberry or whatever it is your apple products but they have so done something to the territory that if your phone gets missing lost or spoiled you remain restless until another one comes they have forced the necessity of that product in your life you no matter how conservative you are when you lose your phone you don't just keep quiet you will say glory be to god but you will do something about it they have they have they have indoctrinated a generation into believing that without a phone a gadget like this your life is incomplete now that's powerful because that's exactly how the kingdom was supposed to become institutional that a day must come in the life of a city when if there is no service in a day people will say what is wrong not just on sundays alone not just on mondays alone they gather daily in the early church that a day will come where it should not be that there is no christian within a territory it should not be that god is void of men and women who can advance his purposes within a territory kingdom advance is territorial that means that we are not entirely free until our territory is free i repeat we are not entirely free until our territory is free i can enjoy the freedom that comes with a new life as an individual but i am still in bondage because if the territory has not come under the lordship of the christ i can be affected listen to me i can be affected by the value system that is predominant within a territory even though i have been exempted by my new birth experience 
such is the case that we experience here in the north such is the case that we experience in africa i give you an instance i am not a corrupt person you are not a corrupt person but we are victims of the consequences of corruption for instance why because we are immersed in a territory that still holds corruption as a value system so we are not entirely free listen this message is aimed at correcting the mistake that esther was about to make hallelujah her man was conniving with the king and attempting to manipulate and influence him to bring the people of god under servitude and bondage to pass a law that will fight and annihilate the jews are we together esther is in the palace as the privileged wife of ahasuerus having the opportunity to influence the program of god she was comfortable i hope you know that as the first lady of a king who was lord over 127 provinces a province is what will be equivalent to a continent a province is not a local government a province is not it will be the equivalent of what we call a continent today and so literally he was like the lord of the then world 127 provinces and here's a woman with the power and the influence to see that the purposes of god are preserved but because of the beauty and the security that came with the palace she ignored mordecai and mordecai sent a warning and said do not think when they finish with us when they find out you are a jew in other words although you are free in the palace you are not free in the nation are we together now esther's advocacy the entire book of esther was not about esther trying to protect herself she was already free remember she was the king's wife the same way you are already free as the bride of christ but the territory is in trouble there is a mordecai somewhere manipulating the government and the in the the positions of influence to antagonize the program of god and the holy spirit stands as our mordecai and he's speaking to the esther of the king and saying do not be comfortable just because you can buy a car just because you can eat just because you are happy just because things are well with you just because your church looks like it's doing well if the kingdom the program of god the territory is not captured to come under the influence of christ it means one day what you call liberty will not be liberty indeed hallelujah praise the lord god is a god who is territorial in context he deals with people he deals with things territorially i have heard of stories where flourishing churches flourishing nations were locked down in a moment because another pharaoh arose who did not know joseph when i was studying preparing for this i studied and it surprised me to find out that north korea was once a center of revival on earth can you imagine that north korea that once upon a time there was an outpouring of the spirit china was once a place of massive revival the hand of god was strong upon that europe you study the story of people like john knox and the rest mighty men of and women of god john knox who took over scotland through the power of prayer and intercession and right now some of these places have become monuments to the palestine many of the apostolic activity of paul happened within rome palestine and all of those those nations and today you can hardly find anything that represents the purposes of god do you know why because the individuals were free but the territory was not free daniel was free as a person he had been exalted to be one of the king's inner circle but the program of god in babylon was still in bondage and all of a sudden Darius, I mean uh, Nebuchadnezzar, decides to build a 90 feet statue of gold and says, when you hear the trumpet, when you hear all of these things, bow down to it. Three Hebrew boys 
came out to stand and be different they wanted to be different but they had to pay the price for fighting the mindset of a territory listen please hear me you are not free when your territory does not call upon your god the nation of israel were in egypt to receive succor because there was no bread there was no wine food had finished but because joseph was there in power and pharaoh had committed the entire governance of egypt unto him the purposes of god could thrive listen carefully the purposes of god could advance under the watch and under the leadership of joseph but egypt did not yet belong to god in terms of territorial alliance so when the man who was the advocate of god's program died another pharaoh arose and when that pharaoh arose he changed his policy look how easy it is to bring the purposes of god to jeopardy one man can just arise who does not believe in your conviction and that's the end of it we are not free until our territory is free dominion must be territorial is god speaking to us commanding influence and dominion over a territory is a dimension of the gospel that has largely not been understood please look up let me have your attention we have done well in terms of evangelism please come one-on-one -on -one evangelism we have done well in terms of printing tracts excellent we have done well in terms of putting jesus film and going to you know community projects bible translation activities we have done exceptionally well that is commendable except for the fact that it seems as though our lopsided understanding of the gospel and kingdom advance if we do not correct and balance it there will be a serious problem do you know this is the problem today in the west an average elderly person in america is born again an average elderly person in america is born again calls upon the name of the lord jesus but an average young person in america is far he's not even close to the gate of the kingdom what happened once upon a time america did not just believe in jesus alone they dedicated their territory they said in god we trust as a as a territorial that means god anywhere you see within the circumference of america it is dedicated as the space for your influence god is a god of territory what did he give to abraham not just the blessing he gave him access to territory god is always territorial he wants territories to be captured for him and this is a dimension of kingdom advance that people have gotten wrong please look up when we talk about um there is a concept that is used especially in the pentecostal circle it's called take over and it's a concept that came from the revelation of scripture that a time will come the mountain of the lord's house that a time will come the world will bring influence and, and i believe that but there is a dimension of our takeover concept that is wrong For many of us, our concept of takeover means one day Nigeria will be like Dubai. One day um, Haiti will be like Europe. Um, I don't think it's going to happen. Not at this side of God's program. So the idea of takeover is not just in terms of infrastructural development. No. Remember that territory is about people. People. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof the walls and they that dwell in them so uh, the idea is not an advocacy to make nigeria become like dubai one day it's a wonderful project if it ever happens are we together but the idea is to see that the ideology of a territory now this is where we're talking about so when we're talking about territorial dominion we're not looking at it from a carnal fleshly standpoint although there is a socioeconomic implication but primarily we're talking of the church ascending to a point where the church is in charge of the mind control systems write it down the mind control systems 
across every territory this is how dominion happens when the mind control systems that means the instruments that are used to shape the paradigm the understanding and the perception of people within a territory comes under the influence of the church that is dominion everyone please say mind control systems one more time shout it say mind control systems so when we talk about territorial dominion the idea is not to drive muslims drive traditionalists from a territory in that the only people here are just christians that's not the idea because the same lord is rich unto all are we together now it was the mistake that alexander the way wanted to make because of his passion to see this territorial take over the idea was to drive every non-christian out of a region and he tried to do it and he came up with a city called zion city right it was a city that would become a prototype of his idea that means a city that was entirely built upon righteousness where there was nothing that represented darkness there and i understand that but this is not exactly the concept until jesus comes there will still be sinners on earth until jesus comes there will still be non-christians on earth the same lord sends rain upon the godly and the ungodly are we blessed very powerful concept your christianity in terms of kingdom advance will be very meaningless if you don't understand this this is the reason behind the frustration of many christians who are now born again now filled with the holy spirit and then they tend to ask what more because the advocacy the proposition that was given to them at their new birth experience was that they should prepare for heaven and that is wonderful and now this guy realizes that he has 90 more years to live how many years so let's assume that this guy is 35 90 plus 35 this is a long time to live not knowing what you are doing are we together yes so many people are frustrated because the ritual of going to church on sunday then midweek prayer on wednesday then maybe a prayer meeting on friday then another fellowship and then the ritual continues then once in a while a conference comes then once in a while a revival program comes then marriage is added to it then children added to it then old age is added to it it finally ends up in the grave it's not a wise way of living an intelligent god would not design that system of living there is enough to occupy you to make your life worthwhile that you check the time and say my god can you imagine 20 years is gone right now i must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day the Bible says the harvest is wide, but the laborers are few. Let me add, not to add to scripture, but I think the laborers are also foolish. They are not just few. There, there is need to trust God for an impartation. He says wisdom is profitable to direct. It's already an emergency that the laborers are few. And then if the laborers that are there are not wise, operating by the wisdom of heaven, then we'll be in trouble. If you do not love this message, you are selfish because it means you are not thinking about your children. May God forbid it that it will be in our lifetime. Pharaohs will arise from our territory that will hijack this place. That our children will be sent to servitude. Do you know, let me tell you, God forbid. But if a crisis breaks out in Africa, right, or Nigeria, most of our parents who are already close to their grave, it's just to push them and they're in. They're already close there. You, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Believers are very careless sets of people. We always think darkness is so far until our carelessness allows it to come near. To come near to a point that our children will no longer have the... Who would have believed that the Ten Commandments will be removed today in schools look up please who will that believe we're not talking of saudi arabia we're not talking of north korea are we together we're not talking of the gulf nations 
We are talking of a nation that has stood to herald the gospel for decades. And right now, individuals within a parliament would sign and say, get this thing out. You discipline your child, you are going to court. That means you flog the child, behave well, be a good disciple of Jesus. Straight, someone is punishing you for violating the fundamental right of that child. Are we together? I know a great man, a very wealthy man whose son was in the U.S. When he clocked 18 and he came back, the mother shouted, he told her, stop that, I am 18. The mother beat nonsense out of him. <laughs> now, it's not an advocacy for violence and child abuse. Please, don't misunderstand me. I'm speaking to nations. There are people following us from around the world. But the idea is that most people think your personal salvation means territorial salvation no there is personal salvation i am saved but there is territorial salvation i am safe pray for the peace of jerusalem not the peace of the prayer warrior the prayer warrior is already free but jerusalem is in trouble pray for the peace of Jerusalem he said they shall prosper that love thee hallelujah I thank God for the profound mentorship of dr. miles Monroe in and to my life we continue to be the fruits of his apostleship advocating a balanced understanding of kingdom advance the evangelical has done well we respect and we honor and we continue to bless them i came out of the evangelical circles but the imbalance of advocating personal salvation alone as the ultimate key to taking over territories is an error an individual salvation is important but we must understand the principles that bring christ to be enthroned territorially look at this I love the way the Bible puts it as for me and my as for me and my why is it important for your house to serve the Lord if they don't want to serve that's their cup of tea no as for me and my house one time when they were fighting Jericho they were instructed to not take anything is that true that no substance should be taken specific instructions were given and one man decided to hide something for himself because of that an entire day a, a, a little city began to defeat them now imagine the innocent people that died because of one person's contribution her man single-handedly was going to destroy the entire nation of the Jews we must command influence and dominion territorially to establish posterity our children are at the mercy of our spiritual understanding the continuity of God's program is at the mercy of our spiritual understanding do not say like Esther I am happy I am comfortable I know that I'm going to heaven. If you like, kill me, I'm going to heaven. What of your children? What of your grandchildren? Sometimes this selfish approach to martyrdom, we think that just because you are ready to die for Jesus, I, what of the rest? Are they ready? If I'm ready to die for Jesus and this guy is not ready, the proof that I love Jesus is that for his sake, I should say, Lord, give us time. Let this man be ready too. Most of us don't know that this our advocacy for martyrdom. It looks spiritual. It's selfishness. Lord, even if it's to kill, let them kill. I'm ready now. No. No, we are not ready. We are not ready. There are souls that should be saved. There are territories 
that must come under the influence of Christ. Paul said, for me to live is Christ. And even if I die, is gain. But they killed him and he came back. Correct? They killed Paul. When they left, he got up, shook himself and said, you people are joking. There, is still, there are still many other places. If I die today, it is gain for me, not for God's program. If I die today, it is gain for me as an individual. But God's program on earth will suffer a heavy blow. So what do I do as proof that I love him? Reject and cast the spirit of death. Anywhere I see it, not out of fear, but out of my desire to see that I'm alive and strong to continue advocating the frontiers of the kingdom. If you love God, don't die. Don't die soon. Live long. Remain alive. You think I'm just motivating you. Tonight's message, we're just warming up. I have some serious things to talk about here. Let me tell you this. Brothers and sisters, hear me. Africa is coming under siege. Nigeria is coming under siege. There are powers that have intelligently been coordinating a campaign to frustrate the purposes of the Christ. And because believers do not understand the territorial dimension of kingdom advance, we continue to flatter ourselves in the palace like Esther, whereas Haman is already plotting the defeat of God's people. But thank God for Esther's. Thank God for Esther's. Doesn't mean you're a lady. Esther is a prophetic office. Thank God for Esther's. The saviors that shall arise from Zion are we together there are principles I want to share with you now the remnant that will preserve the purposes of the Christ and make that preservation transgenerational take note of the word transgenerational by the grace of God if Christ tarries I want to be able to stand from the shores of heaven and see that God's program still continues because we supplied a template that could not be bent. Mm. We mentored believers in a way and manner that even though we have gone, they still continue to stand to see that the purposes of Christ is advanced. Let me tell you this. The Jews and those in Israel were very wise. Although many of them have not personally come into the knowledge of Christ. But they have used the principles of Judaism to understand that it is not enough to be connected to the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Our territory must also come. And so when the neighboring nations fight territory, they say no. Believers have this foolish understanding that because the purposes of Christ is only in our hearts. What do you need land for? What do you need this for? Are we together now? Yes. There are cities that when you enter, you can almost not find land for church. Do you know why? Because the territorial dimension of kingdom advance was not taught the leaders in those days. When there were free lands to get, they thought that evangelism is all about, once Jesus is in your heart, no worry, how, how long do you have to live? And the platforms, right now believers are stranded. To have a place of worship is a problem because it's a campaign that was taken with intelligence over decades and the leaders as well-meaning as they were they were not strategic enough in understanding the territorial dimension of kingdom advance but in the name of jesus under our watch and in our lifetime not only individuals will lift up the name of the lord we will compel territories we will hijack the mind control systems the strata that manipulates the understanding of men this is what we are living for and it will happen we are not noisemakers there is a power and a force that backs us we do not speak cunningly devised fables we have been given the blueprint of god's program and we are following accordingly Usually we will look like talkatives until you see it come to pass. And it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house. You know, every time I read that scripture, I know that God was not talking to somebody and asking me to share that idea. He was writing it and saying, Apostle Joshua Selman, see it. This is your mandate. I've taught you here that you must find where it was written about you in scripture. 
not prophetically directly not everything written in scripture was for the saints alive many of them were written waiting for the real owner of that prophecy i found things in this bible i believe they were written for me it's true hallelujah i would share with us four principles tonight if you love jesus christ and you desire to see a generation after a generation if you desire to see nigeria the north kaduna state africa and indeed the globe stand and honor the name of the lord then pay attention to the things i want to teach you number one the first principle allocated by god's wisdom for territorial takeover thank you is the warfare dimension of prayer and intercession the first principle given to the saints by which we compel territories to come under the influence of the christ is the priestly ministry of prayer and intercession take it high from me mike listen believers please look at me prayer is not for prayer warriors prayer is for saviors there is no such thing as i don't pray because i'm not a prayer warrior and when i talk of prayer remember that i've weaned us away from this baby channel uh, uh, canal milk like prayer of give me tea give me bread he said ask me for the nations we're talking of prayer john knox prayed a prayer and said lord give me scotland not give me an estate give me a territory or take my life that you can carry one city and cut a map and put it in your prayer altar and that becomes your prayer lord to see your glory and gulf zaria no way for darkness a new spirit is about to be introduced in the territory and angels clear them out of the way because the saints are alive the bible says hell had enlarged itself there are spirits that have not yet come to africa but will come i hope you know that all we see is not all there is there are inventions of mysterious sicknesses that the devil wants to send but there must be men and women who are true watchmen not just watchmen as talk i will stand upon my watch and i will set myself upon the tower men who can pray darkness away men who can pray light into being men who can pray until a savior arises anna the prophetess there's no record of scripture that she was praying for a husband i hope you know she was a widow she had a legitimate ground to say oh lord while i'm visiting you now sort my life she said leave the issue of my life now i continue to pray until my eyes see the consolation of israel when jesus was brought to the temple she said now my, my soul rest i am ready to go i finally seen him Hi. may god raise those kinds of christians in our days people who are concerned about the program of god more than the personal interests of tea and bread don't get me wrong these things are important but your heart when you study the world's revival evan roberts evan roberts was 26 years old when god used him to shut down the city of wales 26 many of you here are older than him when this revival happened the young man began to pray and say lord i am tired of seeing this kind of christianity i see within my territory powerless christianity and he began to pray and for a period of six months he was going to heaven every day every day from between the hours of 12 and 4 he would have a divine visitation it was the product of that visitation they got a little school for him to just start a little program and that was where the fire started people will read about what happened in wales in the newspaper and right there that fire will engulf them smith wiggles would prophesy that it will happen again yes he told lester sumro that it will happen again 
he said before you die make sure you don't die with this anointing find young men transfer this mantle upon them so that we, listen this thing we are carrying did not just start with us it's a relay I don't know how old what is on me is all I know is that I received it it's like an Olympic torch it's easy for us to sit down and criticize our fathers criticize the founders of different movement they brought error they brought this and run our mouths and talk nonsense and not know that now the stage is ours do you not see the eyes of eli becoming dim do you not see that the time is almost finished and god is calling on samuel samuel you are sleeping wake up eli is about to go it's a call for a generation i speak what i speak in parables but it is true the eyes of eli is closing and if Samuel does not wake up and become that prophet whose word does not fall to the ground. We raise your banner high. We shine your light so bright. We sing in honor of you. We will raise your banner high. We shine your light so bright. We sing in honor of you. Na doka ka sunanka, ubangi ji ka isalabo. Na kima ma sunanka, ubangi ji. Ni na doka ka sunanka, ubangi. It's an anthem for a generation. We raise your banner high. We shine your light so bright. We speak. We will raise your banner high. We shine your light so bright. We sing in honor of you. Sit down. There used to be a song that we sang in a seminary that our generation will call your name. This is not a sermon for tea and bread. This is not a sermon for give me this. God will do it. But we're talking of nations. The ministry of warfare and intercession. That an anointing must come upon a generation to pray. Not for the purpose of showing who is more powerful. There has to be a grace. It's a corporate mantle. It's not just prayer groups. It's starting now as little prayer groups. Little, a time will come there will be no leader. It's a grace. Homes will become prayer altars. Schools will become prayer. It does not matter who wants to say what. It is an ordinance signed by God's integrity. Let me tell you this. If we cannot pray as a generation, we're in trouble. Darkness will stamp us and stamp our children. Oh, Haman, do not rejoice. Esther is still in the palace. Esther is still in the palace. And she still has access to Ahasuerus. That which has been signed can be changed. Listen to me. The days that are coming are days when we have to trust God to sort our personal needs fast so that it can give us room to focus. All this issue of coming to preach series just about tea and bread. We are talking of nations. Our children are in trouble.
Man carrying things that belong to a generation, not a program, not a conference, carrying mantles that are generational. Jeremiah chapter 1 and verse 10. Verse 10. See, I have this day set you over territories nations and over kingdoms to root out to pull down to destroy to throw down to build god is giving nations like a man is about to die and he say you my estate in kano is yours god is sharing nations and saying i i allocate territories Who can sing for me that song? We'll bow down and say you are God. You know the song? sit down let's sit down we have to make progress tonight hmm. listen to me there are spiritual forces and controlling powers in every allocated territory every territory that is allocated has spiritual powers listen to me these spirits influence culture 
these spirits create negative patterns in the minds of people they are called familiar spirits there is a reason why they are called familiar spirits they are spirits that have dwelt with people they grew up with people I shared this morning during the church service that one time I remember I was in Shiroro. We were ministering in a crusade and I saw a group. It was up to 15 or 16 people, women. It was a pattern I saw there. The moment the women gave birth, they became deaf and dumb immediately. I said, what is this? It was no longer a sickness. Listen, when you see a widespread of a pattern, it's a testimony that a controlling power is reigning within a territory every territory in nigeria has the signature of the controlling powers there are territories where no matter how great the men study is the women that feed the men territories there are territories that are associated with certain things anger rage there are territories that are associated with early death you go to the territories and the youngest person is 60 years old but there are no children the parents use the children to live long controlling powers there are territories where you must end like your past you don't end like your future you can go to the u.s and spend 10 years and return back to the village in one room it's not about habits there are spirits. There are many of us who have uncles who will tell you this one was a CEO. This one was a customs officer. But right now, if you give him 10,000, he will say thank you. What happened? These powers. There are churches, there are territories where a church cannot survive five years. Impossible. Something must happen. The man will die a scandal would tear him down something must happen there are powers when daniel began to pray the prayer was affecting the spirit of the medes and the persians the spirits that controlled medopersia his prayer daniel was not saying lord sort me out uh -uh. he found out that the time of the captivity of israel in babylon had come to pass and he started praying I, Daniel, understood by books. I read and I saw that by this time in prophecy, we should not be in captivity. How shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? And he began to pray. And when he began to pray, heaven, don't mind the people talking nonsense that they don't know. This is not about New Testament and Old Testament. It's what happens in the realm of the Spirit. The moment they began to pray, Gabriel, the angel that brings messages, the angel of service, that archangel left the third heavens and on his way coming to the earth, he was hijacked from the second heavens by one who the Bible calls the prince of Persia, not the demon of Persia. There is ranking in the spirit, a prince, not a traditional ruler, a prince let me tell you this the foolishness of many believers alongside our pride is why satan will tear nations down all these childish teachings that continue to move around that negates the reality of the realm of the spirit and the fact that there needs to be the contention of the saints will destroy our generation Some of those teachings are deceptions, activities of lying spirits. The Bible says the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith and they will give heed to seducing spirits and the doctrine of demons. We are watching darkness before us and we are pretending it is not there. We are watching a woman barren, her daughter barren, granddaughter barren, we say nothing is happening how can you say nothing is happening a grandmother raped by someone 
the mother raped by someone the granddaughter raped by someone you say nothing is happening find a way to believe it early in your life that there are controlling powers they don't attack you they are not interested in you they attack territories there are spirits that attack you there are spirits who don't even know who you are they were allocated to a territory when jesus was about to cast the spirit they begged him not to leave the territory we can leave the man but keep us in the territory hallelujah please listen to what i teach you this is the redemption of our children is the preservation of god's program within our land there is a spirit now that attacks age ranges from 10 to 18. once you are more than 18 it does not disturb you it's like satan has plotted his graph and found out that the most useful age range now are our teenagers he's not disturbing babies he's not disturbing the young people the old people already they're already there but those teenagers I know this by the widespread pattern in our teenagers their resentment for God their obsession for technology they are outspoken that the vocal defiance that they have is the spirit of rebellion and we are watching saying nothing is happening one day my child will grow and a child of 12 shouting at his mother and while he's doing it from every territory they are doing it there is a spirit making it happen Do you believe what I'm sharing? There are some of us we cannot talk to our younger brothers or sisters now. We are 10 years older than them, but you dare not open your mouth to talk to them. You just think they are being stubborn. No! It's a spirit. The spirit of defiance. The spirit of rebellion. When those age ranges become our governors and our senators, that's when you will see the full assault of darkness ah but not when we are alive mm -mm. Mm -mm. god has men elisha said tell no man to come and let him know there is a prophet in israel not there is a god in israel hallelujah you do a program now and you want to put it on mainstream tv if there is the name jesus there is the name holy spirit there is the name eternal life it falls under the same category as some of those words that we they don't allow to be pronounced including god jesus ah. you tell a preacher to preach and there's no name jesus there's no salvation there's no god there's no redemption what is he preaching The most destructive manifestation of demons is their ability to manipulate the thinking of men it's not their ability to inflict sickness no that's cheap it's not their ability to bring death that's cheap but to keep a man alive and to hijack them whom the god of this world who blinded their mind the god of this world there are gods that station within territories there are territories where you don't find old men the oldest man is 43 because anybody that crosses it dies i've seen territories like that there are territories where all their men are dead the territory is full of women because all the men die some of you know what i'm talking about it was only the male figures in your family the devil took their lives away and left the women was it not the firstborn male that was killed when Moses was born? Not women. Was it not the firstborn male, two years and above, that was killed when Jesus was born? Imagine all those women. It's a principle. So mothers are becoming both mothers and fathers. 
because controlling powers are there and while that is happening we are laughing you know i've told you about a saying in my village that when you see your neighbor's beard on fire get water and soak your own don't laugh the same fire is coming to you we must pray oh we must pray there are spirits we must pray when i came i was asking it about the testimony of the dear lady one a precious lady that i came i met i saw you people so excited and i wanted to know what was going on and when he told me the story i said you see it now and someone would tell that lady that the only attack she has is the one in her mind are you joking are you joking i've seen demons so this is not something i'm just talking i've seen them the first time i saw a real physical demon it was then in the campus i was at going to the back of a generator there used to be a generator there and as soon as i turned i saw a real spirit and he said get back that's what he told me i'm not talking nonsense that was you read in a storybook they are not cunningly devised fables i've seen these spirits they are real i know what they do on earth i know what they do in families there are controlling powers that destroy marriages if you do not stand your ground i love you i love you is nonsense just keep going one day you will wake up and see the same woman you love that was there for you and this spirit will land on your head like a mantle and you see what happens to you what of men who kill their children have you not seen a trend recently now a trend of rape rape huh that all these guys just come and just rape ladies do you think those guys are just driven by desire are they no prostitutes no it's more than desire it's a spirit there is something it seeks to do sodomy is a spirit you know that right there is something it does and pleasure is not one of it spiritual intelligence we need to stay and ask god to teach us wisdom let us know his ways hallelujah i know territories where when you rise up if you dare open your mouth and say everybody come and celebrate with me see what the lord has done from that day you must go down joseph told his brothers i had a dream it's not my fault i went to bed and i had a dream the sun the moon 11 stars and the brother said that's all right they were the ones who were going to kill him listen we must learn to pray these spirits out of the way we must learn to pray these distractions you see the things that are happening in zaria now some of the developments the roads don't you think it's technology that is bringing it it's a signature of the prayer of the saints shut down the prayer of the saints in this city then you will know what satan has always wanted to do i believe in the ministry of prayer it is not the issue of being a pentecostal the days are coming when it will no longer be an issue of devotion in the morning or praying for a sermon you are praying to secure your children listen let me tell you this day and age listen do you know if your child leaves home to go to school you should pray what happens to that child from the door of your house to school that child is under the tutelage of someone you do not even know By evening he will come back and ask you and ask you questions that you cannot sleep daddy what is this and you say who taught you say my teacher taught me your teacher yes sir controlling powers koinonia is not thriving just because satan does not know we are here is striving because of the invincibility of prayer fire i said it in the morning that there are departments in this ministry i supervise by myself and there is a reason why because of the strategic role that they play now every department 
plays that strategic role but because of the spiritual component the prayer department the worship team you always see me on their case with the leaders there is a reason why because let me tell you the truth when these instruments just become music we are in trouble when this singing just becomes entertainment we're in trouble when the prayer department just becomes a place of fellowship we're in trouble and the fire upon the altar that it shall burn day and night most churches have partners financial partners and that's all right most churches have protocol members that protect the man of god most churches have priority you know activities but the things that keep the fire are not there prayer zero worship zero let me tell you something brothers especially honestly if you are a man in this generation and this time and your priesthood ministry is not at work you are about to destroy your wife and children there is no such thing as pray for me again you pray your way and pray the climate open ah my wife and my child mother mary as you go to church pray for me that thing must end it is my prayer that the homes in koinonia don't become like shrines that they become real homes the proof of masculinity is not the huskiness of your voice is the is the dexterity of your priesthood i've advised us ladies watch out for these things in saying yes don't just say yes carelessly and say time is going the urgency on ground requires men and women who know how to burn the incense Please sit down. There are spiritual forces that shape the minds of people. A lady sent me a text recently. She just graduated. As soon as she graduated, she said she's been feeling like tearing her clothes and running on the street. Now, do you think an intelligent person will behave like that? It's a spirit. How many graduates have you seen that the moment they finish on their way going home, a little kekena pep just turned and left them there till a truck came and climbed them? How many people have you seen final exam, final paper, they just find something on the ground and say, that's it, you are gone. There is no such thing that is just, it's no coincidence. It's the manipulation of spirits you have an assignment to sanitize your atmosphere let them know you are alive start with your atmosphere sometimes i walk around my house in the night especially when i'm around i'm just walking around my house do you know not too far from my house there is a graveyard i've not seen one ghost one one ghost where will it enter and come to my house I'm dealing with matters of destiny not, not a ghost coming from somewhere what business has the dead the living to do with the dead i even wanted to buy the place they told me that there are, there are graves there ah, apostle don't buy why <laughs> you are dead you are dead one time Archbishop Benson Idahosa came and met that they killed a fowl. I think it was an incantation. And he saw it and he gave it that they should go and help him and cook it. <laughs> they had already caught it. Say, why waste? Why waste meat like this in the name of nonsense sacrifice? God does not love wastage. He said, gather the crumbs that there be no wastage. See, let me tell you this. If you do not know the power of prayer, you will fear demons to death. hallelujah we sit down and allow spirits to roam around our houses i know a man true story in just years ago he was slapped by i don't know if he's a ghost or a spirit he he works then in the teaching hospital and he said he used to hear that means the um, what they call that place doctor where they keep mortuary in the night while doing his work true story you will hear like discussions you know like people have woken up 
and they are talking true story and one time he attempted he shouted according to him he said shut up and he i don't know whether he, he wanted to open the door or something i stand before the god of heaven and i lie not and the 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 spirit slapped him until that man died he did not recover spirits are real don't wait till you see them they are real my mother once told me a story they went to bury someone this thing did not I'm, I'm not sure it's more than six seven years they went to bury someone and physically as they were dropping the coffin fire physically fire came out and killed some people not parables not vision fire came out and killed some people have you seen people that they buried and you found a man back in your house all these things will remain when there is no prayer just saying i am the righteousness of god in christ hallelujah that's not the way it works we are legislators we enforce things we don't just wish things this wishing mentality will cost the church a lot you know it's impossible who am i that the devil will not come jesus went to fast satan went to join him he was fasting satan was fasting too he was waiting there for 40 days for jesus who do you think you are that you will not come around your vicinity from whence comest thou jesus asked satan he said from voyaging to and fro there was not a place that he did not go to have you considered my servant job yes i came to his house it's only that he built a fortification and i could not access hallelujah right now people are afraid seven o'clock people have to lock up their, their shops in many areas they are losing in business why because some tout somewhere will come and waylay them and loot and steal money and the church is just quiet don't be like esther but be like esther parakatusiata you sense anything around your vicinity you don't wait to understand what it is tap your wife and say wake up when you do that twice three times one month the devil will know where to pass see let me tell you this whatever you allow to happen to your life don't blame god whatever you allow to happen to your family don't blame god i'm i'm waking us up that territorial dominion truly happens on the strength of priesthood not a need driven prayer hallelujah i heard of a man recently for one four years I, I'm, I'm i'm trying to be sure so that i don't exaggerate anything four years the wife refused to get pregnant the man was tired one day he came back from fellowship the wife was sleeping he came and knelt down and put his hand on top of her, her, her stomach and prayed that woman into pregnancy no i mean it if i'm joking i'll tell you i'm joking he was tired of this thing and said no he knelt down you just sleep you are my wife i'm the one who paid your dowry let me face this spirit of barrenness see there are times in your life you need to get agitated spiritually and stop allowing nonsense to just happen within your territory within your family hallelujah i was so encouraged when i heard it literally prayed not like impartation or yet no he sat down knelt down on top of his wife's stomach and prayed in tongues until that report changed you can pray some things out of your life and you can pray some things into your life there are times that you can put your job your 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 certificate on the ground and lock yourself from 12 to 6 you pray until where you did not apply called you
our generation has not understood the power of prayer those who know how to pray are people who do not take no for an answer mm -mm. Mm -mm. they don't negotiate they decide and agree god are you in this if god says yes they clear anything that stands the way hallelujah praise the lord a prayerless christian is a powerless christian a prayerless territory is a powerless territory a prayerless couple is a powerless couple a prayerless business is a powerless business a prayerless ministry is a powerless ministry please sit down boy our time is gone the first key to territorial dominion is priesthood koinonia pray don't just pray on tuesday pray pray you go back this night trust god for grace even if it's 15 minutes walk around your room a little before you lie down apostle you don't know how busy i am that is the excuse that is the door that the devil will use to enter your life if you search for excuses you will always find one let me tell you this i have taught you and i pray you will believe it master the power of night prayers master the power of night prayers a generation that sleeps all through the night into the morning is a generation that would not be powerful i'm telling you this see there is a time when you will enter your sabbath in experience a young man personally now it's not i'm not saying this is the bible it's my personal understanding that a young man who actually goes to bed by nine to wake up by six and you don't have time for your destiny you are building rubbles the night is when men who are men pray the night is when men who are priests pray the night is when men who are watchmen pray the night is when gatekeepers of destiny pray let me tell you sincerely i have not slept in days like real sleep to take out time and sleep a sacrifice you are supposed to get a job that God will use to change your family and your territory and while you are sleeping they send a letter from a parastator we need these 41 names in the list and there are spirits waiting there to decide what name will be removed and every other person is in a herbalist shrine forcing his name to remain there and you are snoring away your your sleep is the marker that will clean your name out of that list you can stay and insist i may not have access to the office but i can pray i can pray i've seen the ministry of angels in my life i know that angels are real I know that they are real when you pray there are times I've tried to look for things and I could not find them and I prayed and slept and in my dream I got up and went to where it was and I woke up and went there physically and carried it many of us do not understand the ministry of angels because we do not pray in the name of Jesus every prayerlessness and spiritual laziness upon your life i curse it now this night in the name of jesus all the movies internet browsing that distract you i'm not saying they are wrong but if it can sit down and distract your prayer life i separate you from it now It was in the night that Jacob wrestled with God and got power it was in the night that God came to Solomon and he received something men receive things in the night don't waste your night charge your atmosphere 
sleep under a heavy atmosphere of worship while you are sleeping you are receiving you wake up in the middle of the night and you know an impartation is ongoing see let me tell you these are not things we are these are things we have practiced for years strong worship in that atmosphere while you sleep and you will keep having all kinds of dreams sometimes the dreams will show you the root cause of things sometimes you are hearing a message and in the dream you will start acting the message you are alive to the message Hi. oh lord help our generation help our generation help our generation in the name of jesus christ hear me if you are a minister of the gospel in this place that means you are in ministry or you are trusting god to be in ministry please wake up i deliver you from laziness hear me ministry is not about suits and agbada and protocol ministry is serious business you know all this and i say this respectfully to our younger generation most of these boys do not understand the gravity of attack that can come to your life when you are in ministry they are just happy and just loiter around in pride one attack will kneel you down you need to be powerful with god are we blessed number two goodness the second principle or territorial dominion is the power of faith hebrews 11 33 the power of faith you cannot take over a territory when you doubt god you cannot take over a territory when you do not believe god hebrews 11 please read everyone one two read who through faith uh-huh subdued kingdoms wrought righteousness obtained promises stopped the mouth of lions listen the bible says this is the victory that overcometh the world even our faith what is faith your conviction your depth of persuasion on who God is and the integrity of his person that convinces you enough to believe God and take action you will need the audacity that faith brings to reign in life life is not for weak people life is not for risk averse people life is for men and women who are courageous enough to storm the gates of destiny the Bible says that, listen, he said that Lot and Co were hijacked and captured. And Abraham said, what did I hear? You carried my cousin? Gather all the war men and let us go. Ah, courage. Courage. Faith. The righteous are as bold as a lion. That lion dimension is not supposed to help you harass people. The lion dimension is so that you will be able to stand in the face of situations and say you can bring your best shot satan i will still be standing it takes faith to build a church it takes faith to start tv ministry that will bless people it does not take money it takes faith first it takes faith to raise your children we are a generation that is obsessed with guarantee give me a guarantee that you will be there for me there is no guarantee anywhere in destiny please hear me everybody say faith when God called me to ministry I called my father and my mother and I knelt down before them and I told them God has called me all my life I'm going to be busy serving the purposes of the kingdom my parents said, God bless you. We bid you Godspeed. Go well. That's it. I'm not doing well because the church I was serving before did not give me money. No, sir. 
listen let me tell you this faith creates everything out of nothing did you hear what i said your house now is in your faith the money you need is in your faith please learn the laws of faith faith is predicated upon a revelation that god is able the ability of god and his integrity everything looks impossible till faith brings it god will never tell you what you can do you know you have had god when what he says is bigger than you when god told me of the things that you'll be doing with this ministry around the world when god showed me and told me the things that you the power of faith but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded lift your voice and pray everyone please pray pray where you are pray from the depth of your heart Please pray from the depth of your heart. Shabran <laughs> Pray everyone, you are praying in the spirit. Shikabara to sada brada gede baladabu, embrete ke la prasada balato brada gede baladabu. Shikala baranda kata praske de baladu shabradi gede baladabu. 
Emprataka prusa de belekete shala paria da balada ba. Rapadu sada branda gada baladu. Ete preteke le parusa zialabara. The sacrifice you are making for your destiny. The sacrifice you are making for His kingdom. Paruta Salabara. Two more minutes. Pray in the spirit. Skabarada Balakata Bradegadesh. Skadebarada Balada Bakota Shada Brandegede Baladas. Emprataka Paruta Shalabradegede Balad. Balabu shalabradi gidi balas, ekete labradu shalabradi gidi balada balada bo. Ke baru kasi labahas ya da balada bo. Alleluia, alleluia. Listen to me. Forget about the temporary inconvenience that you are going through. You are building something for a generation. You are building something that will last. Rain will come and go, but what comes upon you comes and stays. Are we together now? Praise the Lord. Let's continue. The power of faith. Now faith is, the Bible says, the substance of things hoped for and the evidence the tangibility of things not seen hear me everyone you want to take over territories you will need to believe in god not believe in an uncle not believe in an auntie not believe in an asset not believe in an investment you need to believe in god God is able. I may not know how, but I know that he will build for himself what will bring him glory. Many Christians, and especially our generation, we don't command results because we truly do not walk our faith. We doubt everything and we do not take God at his word. I've given you a little story years ago when I used to bank those days with First Bank. Way before many of these facilities started coming that we now use to make banking easier. Then I would not have money at all in the bank. My faith was that rugged. I'm not saying do it. I remember those days I would pray and trust God for miracle alert. And I would stand up and start trekking to First Bank. I would queue for hours believing because I read in my Bible what things soever ye desire. When you pray, believest that thou receivest it. I took it literally. Many times I didn't find anything, unfortunately. But I didn't realize that what I was gaining was more than the money. I was gaining the flexibility of my faith. The, the ability to believe God at his word. Let me tell you this. When you are walking with God, you need to believe God. There are times God will tell you, wake up and go outside. You will go outside and nothing will happen. He will just say, go back. And your going out was profitless, but your faith is being developed. The idea is not for you to go and see or receive something. The idea is an exercise of your faith. So that tomorrow when he says, take this nation, you say, Lord, I'm able. We are well able. Unbelief is dangerous. My only limitation in my life 
is the voice of God and time. My only limitation in life is the voice of God and time. Time that honors the law of process. If God tells me to walk through this crowd to that door, I will not even see that rain is falling. I'm on my way going. Whatever stands my way, the faith that God gives. Do you not know that faith is a shield? You can use faith as a shield. It's a wherein you will quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. You are not the first to be persecuted. You are not the first to be challenged by evil spirits. It will take your faith to command victory. We're a generation that loves impartation. And impartation is important. But let me tell you something. There are dimensions of destiny work that impartation will not bring. It's a well you have to dig by believing God. If I perish, I perish. When God spoke about koinonia, I believed him enough to take action. When God spoke about the messages, being heralded by his angel and taking it around the earth, I believed him. Today we've seen all kinds of miracles over our teachings. You've heard some of them. That someone will buy a brand new flash drive from the place where he bought it and take it home brand new out of the cave slot it in and there are koinonia messages all how do you explain that that's what happened when faith listen you will never see the glory of god until you believe you will never see the glory of god until you believe we're a generation that is obsessed with guarantee before we move your only guarantee is the word of God. The word of God. Everything God told me about ministry, about destiny, I believed him. I still do. I still do. From the days when we could not afford bonds and could not afford a proper meal, I believe that was a career of the blessing. From the day when I could not pray for one person to be healed of headache, I believe that his anointing was upon my life. And I believe that he was going to use me. We are going to pray one prayer. I'm going to change my style of teaching now since there is rain. I'm so happy for the rain because it will take away unnecessary formality and keep you to listen. So now you are going to pray. Help my unbelief. Lord, whatever it is that is killing my faith and not allowing me to trust you. Help my unbelief. I claim that I trust you. But it's really my uncle that I trust. I claim I trust you. But it's really my certificates that I trust. I claim I trust you. But it's really my skill, my gift. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. You are praying it for your destiny. You are praying it so that you can command dominion. Lord, I trust you. The grace to believe you. Believe you for my finances. Believe you to open doors. God is not a man that he should lie. God is not the son of man that he should repent. If he speaks, he is able to bring his word to pass. Please pray, pray. Koinonia, pray.
He reigns. He reigns. He is standing by my side to bring His word to pass. He reigns. He reigns. My God is an awesome God. Hallelujah. Listen, hear me. You need to shake off unbelief from your life today and say, Lord, I believe you. I may let everyone call me stupid, but I believe you. Let everyone mock me and laugh at me, but I believe you. I believe you. Your word is true, and I believe you. When you say I am great, I believe you. When you say I am the head, I believe you. When you say I am not the tail, I believe you. When you say Gentiles shall come to my light, I believe you. When you say their kings will come to the brightness of my rising, I believe you. Listen, there are some of you in this place. God has told you you will stand before nations. But as it is, you look so weak and you will not believe it. You don't know the village I come from. I cannot even speak English well. That's not what God is saying. Believe me and let me take you there. By myself. Years ago, when God told me he was giving me access to kings and people in government, I believed him. Our very first crusade, I demanded to see and let us share fellowship with the king of the land. We didn't have the opportunity to do it the first time. Every one of our crusades that we had gone, I demanded an audience with the kings because God told me he would give me access to kings. I believe God. It's none of your business who my father is. It's none of your business who my mother is. That's not what God said. That's not the condition for his word. I believe him. The same way some of you are here and God, you go to bed and you see yourself carrying the baton of generals. You wake up in the morning and say, it's a lie. It's not for people like us. We are the any house. Stop that, that ungodly talk and say, Lord, with all humility, I believe. Let it come. I believe you. It was in Port Harcourt. I was tending to a sick, one of our sick aunties, where I was staying in 2007. I was in Port Harcourt. And she was on her sick bed. She eventually died. And I was taking care of her in the teaching hospital there. And I was there. We were running shifts. And then from the... I don't know which of the floors now i just looked at um the window and all of a sudden i was caught up in a vision and in that vision i saw the international headquarters of this ministry i saw 37 flags and i saw white men i saw nations coming i said what is this and god said that's where you are going i believed him i said let's go oh god let's go i believe you 
God told me I will never beg one king and beg any man for audience. I believed him. I believed him. I believed him. Ah. Do, can you believe God? One day I remember growing up, I told my mother, I said, do not worry about the things that are happening. One day, you will eat and never have to beg for bread again and it will be in your lifetime i said it see the righteousness of faith speaks it does not assume you make statements that sometimes you are afraid my wife right now we may be soaking gary but in the name of jesus we will give to nations and when you say the devil will speak to your ears and say foolish man respect yourself my faith it reaches out to you i believe your word for me today my faith reaches out to you i believe listen one day I was praying and the Lord spoke to me and said son I will give you a gold mine I believed it literally I know it may have a prophetic meaning but I believed it literally until three years ago when three kings came together to give me 18.5 hectares of a gold mine God said it and I believed it see listen let me tell you this this ego and the feeling of saying let them not say i believed god and it was a lie if you don't throw that thing away to stand and trust god so what if you find out it's not god that said it you readjust and move this ego is why many people will not grow god said it but i'm ashamed i'm afraid let them not laugh at me I remember when God gave me an instruction to empty my entire finance it was a stupid thing it was suicidal but I did it and God told me I would never beg for bread in my life again I remember it was in this ministry God gave an instruction to empty the account of the ministry literally 0.00, .00 and I believed him stupidly believed him one week after that God brought a harvest that till tomorrow we will not recover from. But I know whom I believed. If God says I will give you a house, believe him. If God says you will feed nations, believe him. If God says you will pay the school fees of a generation, believe him. Don't believe your ATM. Let God be true and every man a liar. Please hear what I'm telling you today. This life and this destiny, I stand before the God of heaven. And may I be forgiven if it's a show of arrogance. But there are many things. One of the things that God does with me is he mandates me to declare what he said before it happens. There are many things that I've said. Today, Prof said something here that really touched me. Um, in the morning and he said that one of his daughters he remembered when we were meeting those days on campus and that I said that God is bringing mantle a mantle of people for kingdom financiers and he saw his then little daughter she was rolling under the anointing and he looked at her and was wondering and he said that she got a job and within one year bought a car of over three million and he said he was surprised when God says it, he would do it. If he did it before, he can do it again. Same God right now. Same God right now. If he did it before, if he did it before. Oh, he will do it again. 
when we started the koinonia worship team i stopped these guys for many years from going for external ministrations and i told them i said do you know why i know what god showed me about you that days will come you will sing and nations will sing your songs stay and be dealt with by the spirit those days some of them didn't understand because they wanted to go for programs and say sit down sit down today it's amazing the way one by one it's already starting like droplets but it's an avalanche it will come and you will see the songs that come from here songs that will mentor nations songs of warfare songs of victory songs of the throne you see most times we don't believe men till it's too late we we'll say he said it all i believe him i believe you that's why you see me stand to teach you do you know let me confess true confession i was i had a meeting before coming here you know i had a meeting and then um just briefly met with a family and then a woman before coming preparing to come for koinonia and while i was preparing i was so tired i sat down and i didn't know which one to do to eat or to rest and i stood i was so tired and i was telling the woman i said my god all i want to do now is to sleep but i just got up i said i rebuke that statement there is a generation to mentor there are people to raise and she said ah, apostle i know you as soon as you are done with all this talk the zeal of the lord that is in you you will quickly go and prepare and stand up and truly you see me standing now i'm done here and i'm counseling for hours seven in the morning i'm out of this city just to go and just perform a function do a few things and return sacrifice but that happens because god said so god promised me that he will keep me strong and vibrant i believed him you do what i do in the strength of the flesh you will not be sick you will die i say it without exaggeration you literally will fall down and you will die one day my father warned me and said look my son just do your best take out time once in a while and rest i said i know and i believe i will rest but the king's business requires haste there are destinies to be raised there are impartations to come to nations hallelujah praise the lord i went to bed to five it was as if i just turned my head and i checked the time and it was morning the last thing i remember was that i was going to take there was water by the side of my bed and a drink and i remember i was preparing that in five minutes i'll just turn and take a sip and i had slept it was already morning and i got up had to brush up on my notes to come why because when you are about his business he will maintain you There are things you cannot lie about not for long it will be clear see let me tell you this god has been faithful to me you see these hands i have laid these hands on different sicknesses and diseases communicable ones i'm not supposed to be alive today based on the things and the people i have touched You must believe God God told me forget about cars and houses focus on me I've raised men already to do that for you I remember when someone came and met me to give me a car I was happy and God said it's not your car just pray for him and let him carry his car and go I wanted to say God the next time you will give me lift <laughs> but I was happy Do you believe what I share with you? Can you spare me five more minutes? Are you tired? I know you are tired. You are just passionate. But listen, let me tell you this. You must love tomorrow more than today to enter that tomorrow. If you love your today more than tomorrow, the door has closed. Closed by you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. When I was in secondary school and the fire of God fell upon us, we started a prayer group and a prayer movement called Operation Catacus. 
Yes. We would pray sometimes immediately after preps. It was supposed to be a little one hour prayer. And some of these weak spirited people who are feeling sleepy would just tell them, Look, go to your hostel and sleep. One hour, it will become a vigil. I was made the timekeeper of the school in JS2. That was the level of the hand of God that was upon my life. Quarter to five, someone would wake me every day without fail. Quarter to five. That was when I started having encounters with this. I didn't even know that they were angelic encounters. Fifteen minutes on the dot to five. Don't tap me. I wake up. Father, help this generation. In the name of Jesus. Help us to be so consumed by the reality of the realm of the spirit and the power that that realm wields upon this realm. All you see is not all there is. Hallelujah. So when you hear a word like you are blessed, when you hear a word like doors be open, many of us just say amen as a Christian response to a man of God's prayer. But a few people will believe God and take him literally and said, when I said amen, I said, let it be so. Where is it, O oh God? I said amen. I expect an answer. Hmm. The last that I will give us and then we're done. Territorial advancement. The last key. Let me five minutes and we are done. The power. Are we ready? The power of consistent results one of the kingdom keys allocated for dominating a territory is consistent results hmm. let me tell you this consistent results shows that there is understanding consistent results show that there is knowledge consistent results show that mastery has been attained consistent results years ago i started watching a man who would lift people off wheelchairs and crutches as though it was a joke he would stand and look at them and just pray a simple prayer sometimes even be sarcastic about it and throw the wheelchair and throw the crutch and said walk and that's the end of it in in about six years he raised about nine thousand crutches and wheelchairs his his church is full of crutches around the church i said this is mastery i must go down to see him he was in south africa and i traveled he's going to be with the lord now prophet kobus van rensburg I traveled to South Africa to meet him and I met him and I told him why I was here. I was not there for, for pilgrimage. I was not there for entertainment. I was there for business. I said, I desire this grace. I desire it. It is a grace. 10,000 crutches cannot be mistake. No. Many unbelieving members, yet they were also raising crutches. You could see that they didn't have faith. Yet, they would say walk and joke with it. You see, many times when the leader that you are under is carrying a grace, you will cheaply receive that grace. Listen, when you receive that grace and receive that dimension, many times you will see how cheap it works. Some of you here who are under this ministry and under this covering, you will go for meetings casually and just say let's pray and the power of God is here and it will be as if you are acting drama and even you, you have not really studied the dynamics of the anointing many people started getting prosperous in living faith before they read about prosperity it was later they found out they were even sinners because they were not tithing yet they were still enjoying abundance say okay Lord forgive me now I will start doing it properly some people were strolling and just saw prayer city prayer was going in and they said let me go and find out what is going on there and from that day they cannot sleep again till they pray because a grace came upon them let me tell you this results 
are governed by three things one light two please listen results are governed by three things one light two association three graces these are the factors that govern results in this kingdom never forget it light the depth of the spiritual illumination you have as it pertains the area where you want to see result number two association god called abraham and lot went with him and then number three graces if there is any area in your life where you are not commanding results check for these three things one there is a dimension of spiritual illumination that you are lacking number two there is a community of people with that grace that you have not honored and number three there is a dimension of grace that has not rested upon you it is easy to produce results when you know the laws that govern them hallelujah do you know let me tell you as little as this thing our, our time is up as little as what I shared with you is if you understand this mystery my brothers and my sisters there are dimensions that God has cheaply committed to this ministry you will enter into it like a joke you know it pains me when I see certain graces that are so lavishly available but there is no widespread testament of people who have entered that dimension the knowledge you have the spiritual understanding number two your association not just in terms of friends also the covenants the tribe that you come under that you are grafted into and then number three the graces that are upon your life any man who is exposed to these tripartite forces will be a strange man upon the earth when i traveled to south africa to meet prophet kobus van rensburg i'd wanted going to meet robert Lerdan and then charles and francis hunter unfortunately i couldn't meet them i sat down and i listed like an architect the graces that will construct the house i listed them and i searched for the individuals that had those graces like a chef says i need salt where do we buy salt sabo where do we this is how i listed these graces like a bee and i searched for them one by one i was very very foolish at a point in my life i knew that wisdom will be part of the graces that i would need for my life and i would need for this apostolic office i pursued dr miles mudok and bishop david oyedeko these were the two dimensions of of wisdom that came to my life i saw the wisdom of god at work in their life and i said this foolishness must end i pursued that grace i pursued it with all my heart are we together yes results whoever commands results becomes the leader whoever commands results becomes the force to reckon with i submit to you that many of the dimensions that you see in my life and in this ministry they are not guesswork there is an exact knowledge that is back of them they will continue to be reproduced again and again when there is increase when there is the outstretched hand of god when there is favor there is prosperity when there is passion and hunger for god these are results please do not join the people who ignore results i'm wrapping up i know the rain is done but just just be patient make sure as they are coming out they are still listening please you are going to pray for results listen to me i told myself god there is no need to be in ministry if i'm not producing results that you bear fruits and that your fruits abide much fruits some of you who are visiting this place for the first time will go back and know that god is here you met him it's called results the next time you come you will not come alone let me tell you empty pews are proof of lack of results it's an uncomfortable truth 
but it is true are we together in fact empty anything emptiness is proof that you do not understand the laws that govern you i knew i saw the way pastors used to raise money now please i'm not being sarcastic with all respect and all honor to men of god and the body of christ but i saw the way people were being manipulated to raise money i saw the way pastors birthday pastor I'm, i said no this is not bible but then i asked myself a question how will you eat and how will the ministry thrive and then i said i have to go to the word of god and find out and then i found out that god can open a door for a man that no man can shut i found out that there was an exactitude to the blessing of god let me show you one of the most recent scripture i found first corinthians 29 12 i apologize we are wrapping up first first chronicles 29 12 first chronicles 29 12 i saw this scripture in my dream i was sleeping and this scripture came and i woke up and i saw it and i rejoiced i said that means god is shifting me to another dimension both riches and what honor come from you you reign over all of them it's a dangerous scripture both riches and honor come from thee you reign over all and in thy hand is power and might look at all the things we need in one verse riches honor power might greatness strength god is the owner i saw it in my dream i went to sleep oh, and i saw that scripture i got up and i searched it i said this is this if this scripture were a clot it would have faded by now i've prayed this scripture into my life see i stepped into the grace for favor when i prayed for favor for one month that was my prayer request not for a selfish reason lord a man can carry favor bodily let me be an example of it do you know many times when i pray these things is so that i will bring it and you will receive it's not so much for myself when i received the grace for long life it, it was with speed the day i was coming for koinonia it was as if i was going for my wedding reception give me chance let me stand these people were singing and i couldn't wait for them to finish singing so that i would climb up i came with a grace that i did not have the grace for long life you can carry graces like a fisherman when you catch something and you push your hook you draw it force it out when you see what it is this kingdom is a kingdom of deep mysteries deep mysteries deep mysteries hallelujah both riches and honor come from you thou reignest over all and in thy hand is power and might and in thy hand is to make great look god is the maker of greatness when god selects you to be great he selects you to be the face of a generation it doesn't matter who thinks what or does not think it god has chosen this ministry God has chosen us by the privilege of his grace to be one of the major pillars of what he's doing in this generation. It's an honor we receive. He made it so. Results. We're going to pray. We have to wrap up. Listen to me. Koinonia, hear me. My heart is pained if your life does not command results let it first start from your life then we'll start commanding results over territories was it not joshua that told the son to stand results there are results that can shut down a nation in one day a time will come kings will come to seek the counsel of god from us and say what is god saying he said kings will entreat your favor 
when God told me he would give me access to kings and I would speak to kings in this nation I believed him listen it's not pride in two weeks I'm going to be speaking to all the legislators in this country in a breakfast meeting all of them gathered in one place the International Conference Center and I will be speaking to them the counsel of God when God says it I believe it listen it, this thing is not it's not it's not about a man I hope you understand what I'm saying results are powerful if you doubt results then what are you at results you must insist that my fig tree must bear fruit I'm tired of green leaves Lord this fig tree must bear fruit he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water whose leaves does not wither is someone ready to pray please take two minutes blast in tongues and cry honor my life with results oh god results honor my life with results Please pray. You reign, you reign, hallowed, you reign, you reign. Jesus the grace that will cause you to reproduce every result you see here may that grace rest upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the grace that will bring you into strange dimensions wonder walking dimensions of results may that grace rest upon your life I speak upon your life access to kings may that grace come upon you access to kings in the name of Jesus Christ access to kings in the name of Jesus Christ I have set before you an open door I decree and declare the kind of influence that God can put upon a man influence is not a carnal desire it is so that you can rise to a point where the nations can look up to your life in the name of Jesus the grace that can cause a generation
to look at a man and follow Christ through that man. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. The grace for strange signs and wonders. Wonders of the spirit. May that grace come upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Every man who must honor and recognize what you carry, I speak to them by prophecy in this season and in the name of Jesus in this month of October, I command someone must celebrate your grace. Someone must celebrate what you carry for the sake of his majesty. In the name of Jesus, I compel men to descend the grace upon your life. I compel men to descend the hand of God upon you. I compel men to descend the unction upon you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. We prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored Listen, let me tell you this. The more I understand the systems of the kingdom, the more I see honestly that there is no hope of deliverance for many people until they find out these mysteries. Those who win in life are not the smartest. Those who win in life are not the most educated. Some of them, by mercy, they stumbled into these mysteries. And you watch gates open and you are there with your knowledge wondering how unfair life can be jericho 45 nobody entered from your village your father tried fighting physically they destroyed him your mother tried doing business they destroyed her your siblings went to school got masters got phd the door said i don't open i don't receive and i don't give the lord said joshua stop wasting your time it's not about nigeria it's not about recession find a priest quickly find a priest one who is an act bearer don't just try to do it on your own i know you can fight but this is priesthood listen carefully it is the foolishness that has destroyed many proud people in our generation the bible says by a prophet the lord brought israel out of egypt it's not human worship it is the mystery of priesthood the priest the ark the trumpet equal to the falling of jericho when jericho falls you can fight with whatever you have when jericho falls your pure water can make you a millionaire because jericho has fallen when jericho falls one destiny helper is enough you don't need party when jericho falls one job can bless you but until jericho falls anything done outside it is a waste of time i never fight physically physical battles are the last it is foolish to begin your journey to victory fighting physically look at jesus on his way to the cross he spent time in gethsemane because he knew it was not about wood and nails it was about spirits satan came to him in matthew chapter 3 matthew chapter 4 satan left him came back to him in peter he defeated him came back in judas he left him something was playing out and jesus knew that he needed to settle certain things when he went to that cross satan did not know that certain dimensions of priesthood the order the protocol of priesthood had been kept let me tell you 
fear any man that understands priesthood even if he's a herbalist are you getting what i'm saying the people in the world know this and they triumph from one level of victory there are business people in this nation that will never do anything until they make sure there is an ordinance of priesthood that goes ahead of them life is too fierce to be physical no sir are we together you try getting a baby physically it doesn't work you go to the hospital doctors do their best it doesn't work you try and try let me tell you when you try a thing once twice three times it doesn't work just stop stop wasting your time stop immediately the bible did not tell us that one person was killed when jericho fell the people the same spirit that fell the land rendered the people helpless even the weakest of the members of the army killed somebody it was never about the sword it was about victory when the ark wins you win the only possibility for your failure is that the priesthood is not there show me the priesthood that has risen to speak over the ordinances our forefathers as uneducated as they were they understood the mystery of priesthood till today many of them we laugh at them yet they keep getting results everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen shall be restored Listen, unto me the bible says everything written in scripture was for our learning that story was not just written there god intended that someone with the eyes of the spirit can see and teach a people that you don't win battles with swords swords only help you possess your possession swords only help you manifest victory they don't create victory what creates victory brothers and sisters is the priesthood and the ark what manifests victory is your sword it is true that the horse is prepared for battle but the horse does not fight until the priesthood goes the nation of israel will be going for war and they will carry swords and then they will carry priests with a trumpet look how silly it is to be going to fight they can wipe a whole nation yet there are some people with some irritating regalia and the painful part is they are never behind they are in front the priesthood they are afraid but they know what they carry they depend on the ark left for me you will kill me and the enemies are laughing and say you have come to fight us like this priesthood our generation is a very arrogant generation that's why we may never get results many young people just i'm not saying anything is wrong with intellectualism we have so we have demeaned ourselves from the reality of the realm of the spirit do you know you look at certain people and you are even annoyed because in all honesty you see the efforts i'm correcting you now you have been doing it wrongly you have been fighting a neighbor even if the neighbor leaves provided jericho is there it doesn't matter who comes back the battle is the same listen if jericho is still there leave zaria and travel to lagos leave zaria and go to us right from the 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 airport there trouble will meet you but crumble jericho and remain in your village and watch the booty of jericho look for you and come it is not by strength it is by strategy i show you a strategy tonight to command strange signs and wonders is the mystery of the priesthood do you know do you know why saul lost his throne are we bible students do you know why saul lost his throne who can tell me why he lost his throne saul did not lose his throne necessarily just because he offended god 
Saul lost his throne because he, of, he offended a pattern, an order of operation. He waited. There was a man occupying the priest prophet office who was supposed to be the one to offer incense and they waited for him. And the king said, look, you are wasting our time. The people are destroying me. Say, ah, is it not the same God? We all serve the same God. And he offered the sacrifice. And when Samuel came, he said, No, you have done foolishly. If you allowed me to come, God would have established your throne forever. But now that you have done this, the throne is taken away from you. Just for the sin of violating priesthood. A man lost his throne without knife. No knife. Nobody fought him. But he lost his throne. David tried to do his best to still respect him. He was sitting in a physical throne. Yet he had gotten up in the realm of the spirit. Show me the job in the realm of the spirit. Otherwise stop wasting your time with CVs around. It will not work. Are you getting what I'm saying? You just get up physically and go and harass your unbelieving loved ones. I've come to you repent you must repent you are fighting physically and all of a sudden you receive casualties but when you invoke priesthood someone goes to bed in the night and sees a stranger coming and says it's time for your salvation and the person is already convicted here you come and you say look I want to talk to you about he helps you and say Jesus I've been waiting because Jericho has fallen are we together you meet your destiny helper jericho covers his eyes he is the one but he cannot see you and you pass but when jericho falls like the prodigal son as prodigal as that son was while the father saw him the father didn't even say so what have you been doing i hear you have been with pigs he held him he said leave the matter of the past now let me put a ring come be restored for by the arm of flesh koinonia will no man prevail you will never get a job just by physical pressing believe me you will never prosper just by doing all of these things there are many men of god some of you are here wonderful men of god they are trying to win the battle and rise in ministry physically please invite me here's my complimentary card i'm a sound man of god by god's grace and balance i'm this and that and that you are and Jericho is looking at you and say it doesn't happen that way Jesus knew this imagine Jesus going around and saying people come and listen to me for 30 years no one was interested in listening to him but when he engaged the mystery of the priesthood he came out of the waters a voice spoke hear ye him publicity or no publicity everywhere Jesus went men followed him Are we, are we together? The Bible says they know not. Neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. Let me tell you. Many of you. Your victory is already established in the realm of the spirit. But the system for translating it. We are there wasting time. Doing a lot of things. Many of our loved ones. Some of you are here. You thought that okay by the time you get a job. It will be all right you got a job you found out that the salary was not enough you prayed for promotion as promotion came to you all of a sudden jericho says that's not how we win i'm still here standing but tonight in the name of jesus in the name of jesus christ let me tell you you will watch jericho just like babylon fall before you it's true. Listen, when you hear people testifying, huh, try to understand what made the miracle work. Because most of what they were doing, they had done it before. Master, we have toiled all night. Jesus said, no, it's not net that catches fish. Abba, you've been with me. You don't understand how this thing works. Master, we have toiled all night. He said, but I know there is a relationship between you and that fish. And Jesus said, cast your net. The net will be casted, but not before he speaks. It is after he speaks. The CV will be submitted, but not before the priesthood. It is after. 
are we together you will try to have the child but when you continue the way you are doing you will keep miscarrying forever it's not an insult let me tell you this without the presence of god there is no human intelligence that has the fortification to destroy an altar whose foundation is spiritual let me repeat myself without the presence of god spiritual intelligence there is no human manipulation that sustains enough power to crumble an altar whose origin is from the realm of the spirit what is fighting many of us is not physical brothers and sisters i know you are born again i know you love jesus christ but the mystery of covenants are territorial jesus has come to your heart but he must come to your life just because you received him into your heart doesn't automatically mean you are free potentially you have come into a kingdom with infinite possibilities but ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18 says having their understanding darkened this is paul teaching the church in ephesus he says alienated from the life of god through the ignorance that is in them having the the tragedy is not that god lied but that their understanding is darkened and so by reason of the darkened understanding they have been alienated from the experience of that life it's not enough to say jesus died it's not enough to say i'm born again if that were it brothers and sisters many of our loved ones who have been born again for decades should not be where they were i watch people under the influence of manipulations that are not of an earthly, an earthly origin and i watch the folly of men how we do our best i was once like that but no more i'm born again i've repented i've seen the foolishness of fighting things physically it has to be from the realm of the spirit first not from the realm of the spirit whether first or not the order is first from the realm of the spirit when you plant a seed it doesn't start growing outside until the growth happens there that is the part you cannot explain when it starts coming out you can now water it but the growth there doesn't need your watering listen there are powers that until the mystery of the priesthood and the ark fights some of us will never experience progress in our lives we wake up in the morning we sleep late in the night we are sincere but nothing is working are we together yes every time a blessing comes trouble must ferment itself around a family and drain everything the moment you are rising spiritually how many pastors and churches and wonderful people are like that when you are rising satan doesn't fight you you will think you are victorious the programming he knows how cheap the programming will bring you down so he can as well allow you to rise and you find out for a season everything is working well because it's like a string you will reach a limit it pulls you back are we together oh i want to marry you no problem you will even be happy three days later everything scatters I'm going to give you a job and you find out that Satan does not need to fight you. He already fought you with the presence of Jericho. And God said, guys, the goal is not to stay in Jericho, but you can't let Jericho stand and reach where you are going. Don't pity it. Bring it down. There is a, don't just look at the fence. There are captives in that place. There are treasures in that place. And he said, let me show you. It is not by physical fighting. You don't have any physical weapon that can bring down that fence brothers and sisters jericho sank flat the bible records it flat this is what is going to happen to many of us tonight that's why that's why i i told you tonight's miracle service is not just for individuals it's for families enough of this fruitless trying doing everything by strength there is a system in the kingdom are we together the priesthood there are some of us here we're ministry some of us probably travel for a long time we're men of god we love god 
but it looks like there is a peg brothers and sisters let jericho crumble and you will see how cheap life can be there are people who have experienced the defeat of jericho but they cannot articulate the system that brought the defeat someone stood on their behalf through the ministry of intercession and caused jericho to fall for them they just found out that they entered cheaply and even a dagger brought victory so they can trivialize the existence of jericho jericho is real if you don't see it in your life a priesthood already brought it down for you are you hearing what i'm saying but everyone who must pass remember israel is god's own people what is the business between israel and Jer they had conquered other nations what do they need the treasures of jericho when you read your bible with an open heart you will see that there are gaps you have to be spiritual to get an explanation i fight i defeat jericho and i continue my journey but i carry rehab i carry treasures there is rehab there without rehab there is no jesus without rehab the whole fight was to carry treasures and to carry rehab mm. we look to yahweh yahweh our hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh. We look to Yahweh. We're soon going to pray the lord rejects saul as a king and now looks at david but there was no priest to confirm what god wanted the priest that was available still wanted saul and david could not be king god almighty had left saul and wanted david samuel said no i still want saul and God remained helpless. Think about it. God kept begging Samuel, cooperate with me because David will never be king. That God intended it does not guarantee his manifestation. Between God's heart and your result is a priest carrying the ark. That's why you can have a dream. You see yourself collecting a, a job letter you saw it in 2014 no priest 2015 no priest that your dreams show you eden your life shows you adulam there's a system of translation are we together and all of a sudden the lord now spoke to samuel he didn't quarrel samuel he said samuel how long will you keep weeping seeing that i have rejected saul as king rise up carry your horn go to the house of jesse go and anoint the next king of israel paraphrasing and david remained there i'm sure david will be in the wilderness and say when will my change come the change was in a negotiation between god god already intended in god's mind this is the next king and the king will sit with sheep and say, Oh Lord, when will my breakthrough come? And God will say, The day a priest comes. All of a sudden, the priest agrees and God's will continues moving. A priest refuses and God remains. Moses was wise. He said, Lord, I already know you too well. Don't ever let us go here if your presence 
if that I could not go before us, I'm not going. No, Moses said, because my going is as good as wasting my time. I, I, I know what is before us. And he said, my presence will go with you. And I will give you rest. Rest is a gift. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Rest is a gift. My presence will go with you. And I, through my presence, will give you rest. My presence will clear up the spirits. And whatever you do, when you read Second Chronicles 20, the same thing happened. Three kings came together to defeat the people of God. And all of a sudden, the Bible says, the priests and the musicians were now in front. And they began to sing, you are good and your message endure forever. The ark started fighting them. Who is the fool that goes for war with gold in his pocket and silver? And the Bible says, all of a sudden, they turn. Can you imagine allies together? When the ark starts fighting for you, is fearful. Are we together? Fearful. You are standing close to danger. It never touches you. Before it touches you, something touches it. The priesthood. The people started killing themselves. And the Bible says everyone helped to kill another. That's not a man fighting. That's the ark fighting. And all of a sudden, when the last two were left, he killed one and the ark said, what are you waiting for? And he carried the knife, killed himself. And when the people came, they found gold, they found treasures. When the ark fights, it fights thoroughly. When you fight, if your hand paints you like Moses and start going down, you see that? They can defeat you. But you carry the ark and let it begin to fight. They kept the ark and they kept Dagon. These people brought an entity, a god, enshrined with spirits called Dagon. The Bible did not show us there were any physical contact. By morning, Dagon fell face forward on the ground. The superiority of the presence of God above any enchantment and any ordinance. When you see the ordinances that have been enshrined by your cultism and all of these things prevail, is because the ark has not been lifted. Tonight we have come in this place to initiate a system of priesthood over the difficult situations of people. To say, Lord, if I want you for a few minutes. Just suspend the issue of job or whatever. Whether it is job or the issue of delay, it is still the same Jericho causing it. Any part of Jericho is still Jericho. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The Jericho that causes failure is the same Jericho that causes barrenness. It is still Jericho. The Bible didn't say Jericho. Do you know, look at the interesting thing. Jericho fell flat, but the woman who stayed in the fence, how God delivered her that she didn't fall flat with it is a mystery we don't understand. But the Bible tells us everything fell down flat. To break every chain, 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 break every chain. It's to break every chain, break every chain. Listen, brothers and sisters, we're about to pray, but I plead with you in the name of the Lord to believe this mystery, as simple as it looks, and you will watch the wonder in your life. Stop focusing on physical things. You will cheat yourself a thousand times. Nothing on earth has the ability to stand on its own. If anything on earth stands, there is a force keeping it. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. 
There is power in the name of Jesus to break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. To break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Listen. The type of sword that kills the enemies is not as important when Jericho is down. Anything can bless you when the realm of the spirit is down. Listen, I have seen anointed men and women of God. People I know love God with all their heart. But they can never prevail in ministry because they have been fighting physically. They do everything. And sometimes you wonder and say, ah, look how great this brother is. Look how great this sister is. Is there no ear on earth to hear what you carry and honor you for it? Hallelujah. Listen. People make all kinds of gifts for me, as you can imagine. People make all kinds of gifts. And sometimes I see what people do and I'm shocked. I say life is so unfair. How can this brother, this sister be this gifted and yet be begging? And you see someone come out from somewhere and priesthood goes before him and in one week his life has changed. They can even be sarcastic. Priesthood will make them take life for granted. There is a system of ease that God wants to bring to your life. Please hear me. There are families here listening. You have done all you know. Why don't you allow God? Allow the ark come into your home tonight. And let it go around Jericho. Allow the ark come into your life tonight. Let it go around Jericho. And you will watch that which was dead come alive by itself. Hallelujah. I was told recently about a young man very nice wonderful young man who loves god everything you know in life including good things fight him and recently i think something happened they stole a phone and the person who stole the phone was within the vicinity of the guy and he was sitting down the man kept the phone there and police came and took two of them together i got a text the person sent me a text and when he narrated everything that was happening, I usually don't call people back, but I was touched. I called him. I said, where are you? He said, Apostle, look at my life. Nothing works. I said, how did you get to the police station? He said that um, they found somebody with phone and carried him. You think that's ordinary? Maybe that young man, breakthrough is coming for him. Another thief from somewhere steals, comes to drop a phone close to you. Does the police not have common sense to probe? And they carry you together. Because there is a spirit coordinating this. It looks like coincidence. Someone just falls from a chair. Just a little chair like this. And all of a sudden one side of him paralyzes. It's a lie. It's not that chair that paralyzed him. Be smart. People fell from trees plucking mangoes. And they were fine. They cleaned their hands and carried the mango and went away. You fall from a small chair and paralyzes your leg. No. A a coincidence navigated the chair was just the scapegoat it's not about the chair tonight we are going to pray before i begin to minister you are going to say satan so you have deceived me through this situation i've been focusing on the situation whereas it is never really about the situation it is about jericho attempting to stand and challenge me i thought it was all about job I thought it was all about marriage. I thought it was all about children. I thought it was all about my background. Now I'm learning that anything would have still caused the same problem, provided Jericho is standing there. But Joshua, gather the priests. Gather the priests. Hey. Arepata ke topa 
Listen, look at me. I want you in the mind of your spirit. Look at that job issue. Look at that issue and say, I will no longer be deceived. You are not the problem. The problem is Jericho. It is never that the business cannot work. It is never that helpers cannot come. Once Jericho is still standing there, nothing can go in. Nothing can come out. Lift your voice and begin Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Say after me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Shout it one more time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Tonight. Tonight. I challenge. I challenge the spirits. The spirit. The ordinances. The ordinances. The spiritual forces. The spiritual forces that are responsible. That are responsible for the physical tragedies in my life. Physical tragedies by the mystery of the blood. By the mystery of the blood. I declare. I declare that victory must be established in life. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible tells us, listen, that we have a high priest and that that high priest is a man. The man, Jesus, he qualifies to be a priest, not the spirit, Jesus. The man occupying a priesthood that is higher than the Aaronic priesthood. The Bible says his priesthood is of a better covenant after the order of Melchizedek. A priesthood with no beginning, a priesthood with no end. That there is that eternal priesthood of Jesus. Listen carefully. We are talking about very deep foundational issues here. Jesus, the man, the priest that took his blood. The Bible tells us that he went to the heavenly tabernacle and poured his blood upon that altar once and for all. Once and for all. The advocacy of that priesthood is superior. Listen. Every enchantment and every divination on earth needs the sun to walk or the moon the bible says thou listen without the sun and the moon if god withdraws the sun and the moon every cause every altar dies immediately because every other priesthood on earth or cultic depends on the power of the sun or the moon Are we together? And so the Bible says the sun will no more give you sunlight. You will not need it. The moon, 
the sun and moon they are important but i'm introducing something jehovah god himself will be the light that sponsors your altar the same way listen listen that men can say we will do the sacrifice by 12 p.m when there is a full moon and they stand and manipulate the the they use geometry and everything to tap the powers of the sun and the moon and god says these things are inferior i come with another priesthood my own self the son of righteousness i am the light are we together i want you to be tired of what is happening in your life and family i tell you the truth when we begin to pray and i begin to minister many of you will see cheap victories cheap victories. amen this is when you will know that this thing is not just about physical efforts do you know brothers and sisters listen let me teach you something for as long as you keep focusing on individual physical problems your frustration continues i can tell you all of them are sponsored by a central force hear me all of them the same electricity is causing this fan to run the same electricity is causing the mic to work if you want a shutdown of the source of the power you can destroy the mic the phone will still work that's what we have come to do tonight a total shutdown then you will find out it was never a financial issue you will find out it was never a health issue it was never a promotion issue it was an altar issue it was an ordinance issue pray one prayer before i start ministering lord visit the foundation of every challenge in my life and my family lift your voice and pray everyone that asked receive it lord visit the foundation why is ministry not working why is my spiritual life dying why am i not growing in the anointing what is the mystery oh god lord why the circle of tragedies one tragedy after another one tragedy hallelujah 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 please just just be silent for a moment i want to start ministering now let's just the lord is giving me instructions just just be silent stand where you are um something is happening inside outside everywhere the lord is showing me something very strange now um let me just describe what i'm seeing i'm seeing something that looks like um this thing people wear what's the name this thing that looks like a um, ladies thing that men wear that that looks like a yes that that thing that's what i'm seeing on many people and the lord is telling me on everyone that i see that thing in there is a very strange deliverance because that i'm hearing hidden glory and i want to pray please you don't don't shout don't do anything just let me flow you start bringing those people out i'm going to pray now for those group of people i'm seeing it because i'm seeing that those people no matter what you do your glory is never seen you will struggle and try but nothing ever happens now in the name of jesus i stretch my hands just silence everywhere father i'm seeing this in the realm of the spirit and tonight is a miracle service from overflow one two three and the main auditorium and those online anyone here that is a victim of this that i see by the power of priesthood i come as an ark bearer an envoy tonight and lord i decree and declare let there be deliverance now 
right now right now right now bring them out i prophesy i decree and declare many of you will feel that physical fire upon your head i'm praying now physical fire coming upon your head let them go let them go i command liberty they must go i come with the rod of a higher priesthood i decree and declare they must go free restore their glory now hidden glory that's what i hear in the spirit hidden glory hidden glory there is glory but covered in jericho covered by the fence of jericho everywhere inside outside i'm praying now please just be sensitive let's let's do what god is directing us to do tonight there must be total victory total victory now i'm praying for families the anointing of god will come on individuals but it is for families it will come on you once that anointing comes on you now know that god is visiting your family lord i pray now i release the sword the sword of the lord in the name of jesus to every family if there is a family here whose glory has been buried nobody rises where are they i decree and declare now by the anointing of the holy ghost Shakata parakata. i don't know what altar manipulated the glory of any family here but in the name of jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus i command now by the power of the holy ghost let there be emancipation emancipation for every family hidden glory hidden glory the bible says the word became flesh and dwelt among us and then we beheld his glory the lord is still touching people the lord is still touching people that's why you came you have done the listening let me pray now hallelujah lift your hands something serious is going to happen here now now i want to pray a very serious prayer the lord is leading me to pray this prayer i just had in my spirit altars of poverty hold on just keep your hands lifted father i'm praying you spoke to my ears altars of poverty if there is any family here in an ordinance under that cause nothing works there is nothing you do physically to be able to bless the family and support the family that works in the name of jesus i declare right now by the fire of the holy ghost let there be deliverance now by the fire of the holy ghost by the fire of the holy ghost altars of poverty everywhere overflow one overflow two overflow three online if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose family is under this siege i decree and declare now your emancipation comes tonight for all of you in front here i speak to the spirits you know my voice in the name of jesus and at the count of three you let them go now one two three go go out of them now out of every one of their destinies out of their lives Shekatos kabariata i invoke a priesthood higher than any ordinance upon their lives release their families now release their destinies now
Mm. You know, the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing a vision now. You know how it used to be in a slave market that you sell a physical person and collect money. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. Like people with only trousers, sold and money. This is exchange of destinies. I believe that this is very prophetic. Let me be honest. I know some of you may not believe it, but the destiny you are living is not your own. A king slaughtered his son so that he will remain alive. There are men that exchange destinies. They, they, a king carried his future and said, Child, the death I'm supposed to die, you die it. There are people like that. The destiny God allocated for you, you know this is not your life. Your dreams and your vision show something else. In the name of Jesus, pray now. Lift your hands. I declare the spirit that exchange and merchandise the destinies of men by the power of the Holy Ghost at the count of three if there be anyone under the sound of my voice whose destiny has been manipulated I command now at the count of three be set free one, two, three be free now be free now. Be free now. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Hallelujah. Oh, Sephia, Sephia, Sephia. Like Sephia, I'm hearing a name, Sephia. Who is that, please? Let's, let's hurry up. There is a lot to do. I want us to settle down and really pray for the sick. Sephia, who is that? Her eyes, Hamala her eyes say her eyes your name is Sophia. how about you madam the lord will locate the person i'm standing here and i'm seeing an angel of the lord touching the person god wants me to speak to her eyes say I'll pray for all of you but in the name of jesus christ i deliver this lady now this lady on red i command that spirit that has tied down your life and your glory be gone for you it's over now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus i release you now by the power of the holy ghost by the anointing of the holy spirit be set free right now set here the lord bring liberty liberty now I command those altars to leave you in the name of Jesus Christ the anointing of the Holy Ghost bad luck bad luck I take it out of your life the spirit of I'm seeing a lot of bad luck I take it out of your life now release their destinies now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah there is a lady a physical person appeared to you in the room this is a woman whose face you know like a relative physically where is that person please someone uh, you were not dreaming appeared to you and there was a conversation from that day your life never became this please don't be ashamed i want to pray for you please don't waste our time we have a lot to do the lord is ministering to me someone appeared i'm not saying you were in a dream this thing is somewhere you had a conversation with someone physical who is that person i want to pray for you please when you find that person let the person come quickly. Who is Ola? I'm hearing a name, Ola. Ola. I don't know if that's the full name, but there's Ola. O-L-A. There's someone with that name, Ola. Please don't come out if it's not your name. Who is this? Huh? Your name is Ola. I want to pray for you. Look at me. 
rejoice breakthrough has come to your family this lady i'm i'm kai look at the evil and the witchcraft i see over this lady's family all these people are please help me find out why are they here all of them their names are Ola. interesting come that lady with cap come your salvation has come come this lady with lift your hands over now over now over now calm down madam come i'm seeing what happened yes a woman appeared to me that it shall be never would be able to physically physically are you seeing what i'm saying look at this when was that last year may she appeared face to face and tell me it shall never will be well with you no matter how whatever you take that you are not feeling fine the medicine will not work and from that hold on from that day something started moving in your body yes, yes, it will move and come to your back and come to your chest area look at this are, are you seeing a swelling here you are seeing this a woman appears to her i prophesy to someone here jakas koto parakatia anyone in fraternity with the realm of darkness over your life i curse those people now i curse those people now i curse those people now by the anointing of the holy ghost madam i deliver you now in the name of jesus christ be set free now in the name of jesus the living and the dead don't have anything in common in the name of jesus the lord is speaking to me there are some of you all you see is dead people all you see is no matter a bulk of your sleep is encounter with dead people i'm prophesying lift your hands the anointing of the spirit is coming on such people now in the name of jesus if there is anyone here in strange encounters with the dead by the fire of the holy ghost i command a separation now the spirit of hades i speak to you the spirit of hades christ has triumphed over you oh death take away your sting take away your sting hallelujah there are a number of you here i presume you are all Ola, including this gentleman on wheelchair that's your son that's your brother what happened to him what happened to him accident since when 2015 and he paralyzed you you can't move now oh dear we are going to pray for the sick but i want to pray for Ola now just just stand bring for me the person i'm seeing like a sword coming on one of you now aside from this lady there is there is an anointing coming on one of you let me speak to that one person right now i'm seeing a closed door this is someone's destiny it looks like i'm holding the air but i'm seeing that i'm holding a padlock in the spirit whose destiny is that among these people standing open 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 now i command that destiny open Shake it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Open now. Open now. Open now. Open now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You came alone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't worry, I'll pray for the sick, sir. If I'm if I don't talk, are you a last sir? No, don't don't come out until I ask you. This is witchcraft. You would have died since last year, June yes sir it's god that kept you i will pray for you i've seen your case already if i don't pray for you in three months you will not be walking again this is stroke what is wrong with you yes all oh, my body this is what stroke. i'm saying yes. i'm seeing three months and you're on the bed not to rise again we have to pray this is witchcraft in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for you come my dear this lady i'm seeing a very beautiful lady in the physical in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing an old woman hold my hands what fellowship the exchangers of destiny i hold the hands of this lady and i declare right now in the name of jesus let there be a restoration a very beautiful girl in the physical but i'm seeing the face of an old woman be free now 
in the name of Jesus I command the power of the Holy Ghost upon your life I command that your destiny be restored your destiny be restored in the name of Jesus Christ for all of you standing here my, my brother this gentleman come what's your name what do you do what do you do I'm a printer sir. you are what printer, printer. nothing is working in your life I need to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I break this embargo I see upon your hand in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ this row I'm seeing deliverance chicken feather that's what I'm seeing chicken feather this is an ordinance over a family just this row I stretch my hands now in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands let there be emancipation right now in the name of Jesus Christ let there be emancipation right now in the name of Jesus Christ all right mama I know that it's not time to pray but I want to pray for you please come madam you came alone let her come you came alone yeah, so one of my uh, son friend brought me here. When we are talking, everything you say is just about as if you are. Where, where did you together. come from? I come from uh, Samaru. From of, Samaru. Um, Basawa. No problem, Mama. Yes, I, I want to pray for you because of something I've Thank seen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Lord. Say after me. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The suffering. The suffering. The sorrow. The in my life, in my life must, end. must end say in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus I, will eat I will eat the fruit of my labor, the fruit of my labor. father by her confession Amen. let her be free now in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare that captivity is over I pray for all of you now in the name of Jesus my dear don't be embarrassed eh? be careful with men come I'm seeing somebody really destroying your life. Don't be embarrassed. Eh? You are here. We love you. We don't condemn people, but be careful. In the name of Jesus, I set you free. The deception and the wickedness of evildoers. I pray for you now. Every captivity in our last family, whether male or female, as I stretch my hands over you, I command that it leaves you now. It leaves your family now. I say it again. It leaves you now. It leaves your family now in the name of Jesus. For the last time now, an anointing will come on you. It leaves you now. It leaves your family now in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Please go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Go back to your seat. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, everybody. Gentlemen, when it's time to pray for the sick, we'll pray for you. Huh? Just be patient. Please help him so that he doesn't strain himself. All of you lift your hands. One scripture and there is fire to deliver the oppressed now. Why are you here, my dear? You are with him? Oh, is your daddy? What? Okay. Since then, there is something that has been working on his body. Like you had an accident? Leg. Yes, sir. Okay, and what happened? And since then, something has been working on his body, on his stomach, like snake. At times, the thing will... Are you seeing what I'm saying? So it was never about accident, you see. Accident was just the condition that made this happen i saw three months stroke hitting this man and him not standing up from the bed again but the lord will destroy it eh? just be patient we want to pray now let me show you one scripture and then we'll pray exodus chapter 15 quickly please 6 to 11 exodus 15 we're going to do a quick walk we need to cast out wicked devils out of lives and families thy right hand O lord is become glorious in power thy right hand O lord has dashed into pieces the enemy next verse to 11 and in the greatness of thy excellency thou hast overthrown them that rose up against thee thou sentest forth thy wrath which consumed them as stubble and with the blast of thy nostrils, the waters were gathered together. The flood stood upright as an heap, and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. To 11. 
the enemy said i will pursue i will overtake i will divide the spoil my lust shall be satisfied upon them i will draw up my sword my hand shall destroy them next verse thou didst blow with thy wind and the sea covered them they sank as lead in the mighty water who is like unto thee O god among the gods who is like unto thee glorious in holiness comma fearful in praises doing not delivering doing wonders that's what you're about to see now lift your hands he said i will pursue i will overtake my lost my desire will fall upon the people of god i want to pray listen deliverance is not just about falling down and rolling up and down is 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 bringing the anointing of the spirit to bring a pattern a separation the bible says the river separated teeth and hither separation to allow you move i want to pray are you ready now remember that after they moved the seventh time it was a shout the healer a shout not just any shout a shout that was sent like a word and the bible says the walls of jericho fell down flat that shout is what you are about to do but let me issue a command in the spirit in the name of jesus christ the one whom i serve and whose i am in the name of jesus i declare over every force in the spirit the covenants and the ordinances of darkness that have held the lives of god's people as they shout this shout wherever they are i command those spirits he said when they hear my voice they will run out of their hiding i command not only an exposition but a total separation are you ready to shout jesus at the count of three one two three in the name of jesus i command that fire to fall every power every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment go now go now go now every enchantment every enchantment every enchantment be free now hold on hallelujah i usually don't do this until i'm directed hallelujah i usually see pillars of fire standing by my left and right i just want to pass through you don't have to touch me except it is not god that has called this meeting if there is a force and a spirit it must be exposed as i pass you in the name of jesus thank you father i decree and declare right now by the anointing of the holy ghost every power every force every power every force every power every force you must go now now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus as i pass you that anointing like fire is coming upon you to set you free be free now free now free now free now in the name of jesus be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ those of you outside lift your hands lift your hands i'm going to pass here right now the anointing of the spirit is going to begin to come upon you are you ready now thank you jesus you don't have to touch me just just allow me pass be careful be careful father in jesus name let it be over now there is fire now that fire is moving all across now in the name of jesus ordinances be broken now i'm seeing fire just around here where my hands are in the name of jesus let there be freedom now let there be freedom now 
let there be freedom now be free now let it be over now 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 in the name of jesus christ be free now in the name of jesus as i'm passing close to you an anointing is causing every power let them go the spirit of the lord is telling me to stand here right now in jesus name let there be deliverance now let there be deliverance now from every force of darkness every force of every force of darkness be free now i came here because i know that there are so many of you look the crowd in this place i want to pray for you i'm standing here my god look at the oppression that i see just standing here i'm about to pray right now and from the front to the back from the left to the right i want all of you to shout jesus something is leaving people already are you ready now your destiny must be open please don't take it for granted bring them out now at the count of three overflow three one two three shake it take a takata be free now be free now in the name of jesus i command my god please help them jesus christ look what is happening here from the front to the back right now anyone here under the siege of darkness be free now be free now help them be free now be free now lift your hands over flow three i'm praying for you are you ready to shout jesus again there are many of you you try to move forward but the force keeps holding you as you shout jesus now you're going to see something leave you are you ready father all those who have been held captive, i declare that as they shout jesus let your fire of deliverance come upon them one two three i release you now i release you now I release you now go forward i release you now delay broken i release you now i release you now i release you now i release you now in the name of jesus hallelujah listen i'm going to pray for everybody but the lord is saying there are some of you here the call of god is upon your life but there are altars fighting you i'm about to release you oh god i'm seeing 17 one seven where are they oh god right now to the back where are they they have the call of god but an altar of darkness tying down their lives Mata soto kata. be free now hallelujah i'm going to pray for you look up please there are 11 of you the lord is saying it is you that you will use to help your family and the anointing that anointing of that joseph's anointing to distinguish you is coming on 11 people lord where are they to the back right to the back that anointing a destiny is rising no even if you are the last born i decree and declare let that anointing find you now let that anointing find you now the joseph anointing the joseph anointing that will cause you to save your brethren hallelujah please lift your hands overflow three it's not about falling down although there are several things happening here but i want you to just focus the last prayer i want to pray for you many of you will be surprised what happens to you listen i'm seeing keys like a key that was missing some of you were once you were destined for certain things and the devil veered off your life and as it is right now the treasure that god gave you you have lost it as i pray for you that restoration anointing is coming upon you some of you is anointings some of you is business connections lord where are they at the count of three let that fire come shout jesus at the count of three one two three receive that grace now restoration fire 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 Shh. 
Please open your mouth and begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Great grace, great grace, great grace, great grace. New season, new season. Mama, look at me. It's over, over, forever. Over, over, over. It's going to use you. The name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, everyone pray in the spirit. 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 Please pray in the spirit. Please pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Pray in the spirit. Overflow one, pray in the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Overflow one, I want to minister to you now. Listen, please, I want you to believe everything. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands, all of you. There are some of you here, as I'm looking, I'm just seeing chains. I want to pray at the count of three. I didn't come to waste your time. Right now, that chain is going to leave people now. Anyone here under the sound of my voice, and there is a chain of darkness overflow one. I declare at the count of three right now, let that chain be broken. One, two, three. I command that chain be broken now. Help them, please. Be broken now. To the back. Shakasko Pariata. Zato Zesekateriakata. Be broken, broken fire is coming i'm seeing fire moving across the crowd in the name of jesus christ i break every force every yoke of darkness hallelujah are you pregnant come i'm seeing an evil spirit let her go now in the name of jesus christ let her go by the anointing of the spirit I release the destiny of this baby you will not lose this baby in the name of Jesus Christ help her this lady praying in tongues in the name of Jesus Christ the grace for dreams and visions the Lord is releasing it upon you great for dreams and visions hallelujah now I'm going to walk across this crowd please I just want you to release your faith release your faith and receive something now as i walk through i'm seeing altars and they are living right now thank you jesus father let there be deliverance right now right now right now right now right now let that fire as i move oh god let the angel of your presence move let there be deliverance it is over that's what the lord says to you over now in the name of jesus christ over over over, over, Shabbos kata, Zeketis kalabra katoziata kata. Over now, in the name of Jesus. Over, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, it is over. Please believe. As I'm passing you, don't don't worry. The anointing of God will locate you. Over now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be over now, now, over your life. Let it be over. I'm seeing fire moving here like this. Who is that fire for? In Jesus' name, I stretch my hands. Let there be deliverance right now. Supernatural deliverance right now. Supernatural deliverance right now. Mama, be free. Now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Supernatural deliverance. Um, I'm seeing a circle here. And the Lord is saying, restoration of ministerial anointing. A circle. Lord, where are they? There are people here, at least four of you. I stretch my hands. Let the anointing locate you. The call for ministry. The call for ministry. The call. Parakato Sedekatoshia. Enter. 
enter that level that's what i hear in the spirit enter enter that dimension enter that dimension enter that dimension enter that dimension in the name of jesus christ hallelujah who is is it victory or victoria i'm hearing a name like a victory or victoria who is that please very quickly want to pray for the sick now It's like you are wearing something like blue. Blue Who is that person? What's your name, madam? Victoria. Yes, sir. This is your first time here? No, sir. You've been coming. Madam, look at me. God is going to change your story. Completely. Amen. I don't know you, but yes. the Lord is saying he's bringing breakthrough. Amen. Amen. Hold my hands. Look at me. There is bad luck on your life, my dear. Good things come, but they never stay. And the Lord is saying to take it away. Right now, be free. In the name of Jesus, I take away that spirit from your life. I set you free to move forward. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can we go in? Who is Victoria? All the victories of Victoria be made free right now in Jesus' name. Can we go in from here? Everyone open your mouth and begin to pray. Prophesy. Say, in the name of Jesus, I'm breaking forth spiritually in the name of jesus christ it's a new level for me it's a new level for me enter a new dimension enter a new dimension now in the name of jesus lift your hands i'm passing here now there is an anointing move move to the next level i'm prophesying to everybody standing here within the vicinity of this anointing step into a new dimension i release that grace now I release that grace now i stretch my hands everything that has held you down let it leave you now in the name of jesus my god look at this are you seeing the legs are rotting completely in the name of jesus be free now i command be free now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ look at me my dear go home and write it good news comes for me in 12 days lord lose their destinies i'm standing here and I'm, there is an anointing let the destiny be open now open now in the name of jesus christ I'm standing here and I'm hearing I have called you accept my call accept my call accept my call accept my call my call is upon your life my call is upon your life stop fighting my call is upon your life that's what the Spirit of God is saying my call is upon your life accept my call my call is upon your life my mandate is upon your life my mandate is upon your life that's what God is speaking. My mandate is upon your life. You cannot fight it. It's an ordinance decided from heaven. My mandate is upon your life. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, light me, Lord, like a candle. Pastor Lawrence, speed, come. Where is, where is your wife to be? Come, come, two of you. I see a grace for speed. Lift your hands. Enter that dimension now. I release that grace. Speed to your life. The Lord is taking away delay. Go and mark it. You are entering a strange level. I see you climbing a ladder and the Lord is saying it's time for your glory it's time for your glory light me Lord light me Lord light me Lord collect that child quickly from Kenny collect that child speed that grace collect that child in the name of Jesus I'm seeing that grace a new dimension of speed coming upon your life a new level of speed coming upon your life a new level of speed hallelujah 
Ejimi, I'm seeing something for you. I'm seeing, please stand up. I'm seeing a bottle of oil and I'm seeing dollars. A bottle of oil and dollars. These two dimensions. The spirit and supernatural resources, that grace, the Lord is multiplying it. I'm seeing a bottle, a bottle of oil, a bottle of oil. The Lord is giving you a voice, not only in the area of finances, but a strange demonstration of the spirit. Please be patient. We are going to pray for the sick, but tonight I, I perceive God is doing something strange. Young man, come. Come, you and this guy, two of you, come, stand. Step into a new dimension, new dimension. In the name of Jesus, you will never be the same. This guy, just lift your hands where you are. Come, enter a new level in the spirit. I release that grace now upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm looking at people and I'm seeing something rising from your stomach to your throat. And the Lord is saying, is the spirit of prophecy. Lord, I'm declaring right now. It's happening to people right now. It will come upon you like a mantle. Prophecy. 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 From your belly. From your belly. Prophecy. I command those rivers. Makato Sakata. Rivers of living water. Rivers. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. This lady, come. You, come quickly. There is a grace. The call of God is upon your life. Enter that dimension of his grace. May the Lord give you visitations. 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 I bring you out of the cage that I see you in. I bring you out of the cage. I bring you out of the cage. I see you inside a cage. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus, by fire, I bring you out. I bring you out. Ancestry will not fight you. I bring you out of the cage. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are soon going to pray for the sick. Where's where's your wife? Where is she? The Lord is saying the powers will fight no more. Come, the powers will fight no more. 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 There are ordinances fighting this family. I see it in the spirit. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus, victory is established. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. The powers will fight no more. In the name of Jesus. And he's stepping to a new level of the prophetic that has always been there. In the name of Jesus Christ. This usher lady, come in the name of Jesus Christ. You will begin to see things before they happen. That's what the Lord is saying. I should tell you, God is putting something in your eyes. You will see things. You will see things before they happen in the name of Jesus with precision, with precision, and with accuracy with precision with precision with precision and with accuracy where are these people that just married this lady welfare where is she now you and your wife where are they she's not around stand up let me pray for you on her behalf in the name of jesus christ i'm praying for your mother let the lord perfect her but i'm praying for you something wants to take finances off your life if i don't pray for you i see great suffering in the days coming it's like finance just dries up to the point that even your basic needs you cannot meet but i cancel it right now by the anointing of the holy spirit i cancel it right now in the name of jesus this fair lady an angel is pouring oil on your head that's what i'm seeing right now 
an angel is pouring oil on your head breakthrough step into a new dimension step into a new level in the name of jesus christ a new level a new level in the name of jesus christ wato where is she is she here i'm seeing a flag being raised up and the lord is saying it's a new season i'm seeing a flag being raised up in the spirit the lord is announcing you i'm declaring let that anointing come upon you a new season let that flag be raised in the name of jesus let that flag be raised you will never never be down let that flag be raised in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ we're going to pray for the sick let's just flow god you know sometimes this is this lady you come yes say for my shame say it for my shame i receive double the lord is taking me to a new level and i receive it i lay my hands upon you in the name of jesus the grace for a new level is released upon you right now i command it so i declare it so in jesus name i pray this gentleman you come confusion ends now in your life i lay my hands upon you i command confusion to end right now from your life in the name of jesus confusion ends now over your life forever in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ confusion ends over your life in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing i will, I will prophesy generally but i'm seeing a family having the breakthrough of a new car and an anointing I'm, 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 it may not look like it's necessary for you but i'm seeing an anointing locating that family now this is this is a, a blessing of a car you will stand and testify i don't care whether the resources are there or not i stretch my hands let that anointing make it happen in the name of jesus christ let that anointing by the spirit make it happen right now help that person please let that anointing make it happen right now in the name of jesus make it happen cameraman come i want to pray for you look at me it will surprise you the kind of favor you will start walking in amen you believe what i'm saying lift your hands father let this brother drink of the grace for favor a fresh dimension a fresh dimension a fresh dimension of favor in the name of jesus christ this lady you come the lord is saying i'm rolling away reproach from your life everything that looks like reproach i lay my hands upon you i'm literally feeling like there are holes on your head and the anointing is going through i command reproach go and never return from her life in the name of jesus christ now we're going to pray for the sick please we're going to be very fast we're going to be very fast listen to me if you have any cancer related issue or barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three i will want to pray for you by myself otherwise overflow one um, i'm in the main auditorium i want you to come out over all the overflows just come to the front stand up stand up come to the front of your projector stands quickly please come to the front of your projector stands for god's sake not to embarrass you but look at this woman's leg look at this look at this doctor look at this is this sickness look at how the whole leg is rotting already please quickly you're sick in your body come quickly stand if the people cannot move just keep them where they are or bring them close so that you don't um are we together now we're going to pray it will be very fast because our time is gone we want to finish on time the devil is a wicked person 
for these kinds of oppression are we together there are so many people in overflow tree and uh, god will grant grace pastor lawrence come you will join them today When our backs were against the wall And it looked as if it was over You made a way Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the corporate anointing, we pray. These people have come expecting to be healed, expecting to be touched. I pray that your anointing will visit them right now. In the name of Jesus, overflow one, overflow two, overflow three let there be a release of the corporate grace right now in the name of jesus christ we're free now in the name of jesus christ what's wrong with you my dear huh fracture where how long where is the leg it can't move and your hand don't worry it's okay and your legs lord jesus please help this lady in the name of jesus Walk my miracle here I release today. that anointing upon you right Walk now. My I correct your Jesus. body now. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands here and begin to pray in the spirit. If they are still praying for you outside, just, just continue. Please, if your request is yet to come here, you can quickly wave it, wave it, and let the ushers have it and bring it here quickly. Stretch your hands. Stretch your hands. By faith, believing that god will visit you don't don't stretch your hands out of unbelief if there are requests here to come please let them come here quickly please bring them quickly unto you that answers prayers oh god shall all flesh come Please pray. You are praying in the spirit. You are connecting. Lord, we are believing that we will not have to write this again. Be serious about it. Make sure you are connected by faith. Lord, arise in majesty. Arise in your power. Visit the case of people. Change impossible situations. In the name of Jesus Christ, Shata Braka to Baraka to Barika Tecate, Shelecate Branda Catabaracatos, Ecatoca Paroca Tabariataba. Lord, let this be the last time they will write this in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this be the last time they will write this in the name of Jesus. Let this be the last time. Shapa Cata Pacata 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 Pacata. Lord, we believe in you. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Arise, O God of heaven. Visit your people. Hallelujah. 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 Please respond with a resounding amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, this is not a ritual. I stand on behalf of your people. Lord, these requests represent different dimensions of demonic Jerichos standing between them and the place of destiny. Father, as I step upon this, let this be symbolic of the ark going round Jericho. Yeah. Hallelujah. Listen. You're going to shout Jesus. We're going to shout Jesus seven times. Are we together? As a prophetic act over this. I'm going to guide you and you will shout it. For every one shout, let it represent one day going round Jericho that at the seventh time we are agreeing together that no matter what the issue is if you don't believe you will never never see the salvation of god but for believers you'll be surprised father that you hearken to this prophetic act and oh god i stand leading your people as we shout that name 
the name of our high priest who has been exalted above the ironic priesthood above any kind of priesthood are you ready now i'll call the number and you shout jesus are you ready number one number two crumbling every mountain number three Shabakoto Sopataya. Makrotoba. I tell you, I feel the fire of God as we're shouting this Jesus. Number four. Jesus. Number five. Jesus. Number six. Jesus. I put an anointing on this seven shout let this be the shout that crumbles every mountain in the name of jesus number seven jesus. i decree and declare unto you prepare for strange testimonies in the name of jesus christ some of you even before you get to your homes or where you came from you will meet it waiting for you like a messenger in the name of jesus christ hallelujah please lift your hands let's take the prophecy and then we'll round up every shame and reproach that has lingered in your life shame and reproach some of you is a pattern across your family members in the name of jesus christ i command shame and reproach be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever be rolled over your life forever hallelujah i release over your life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life supernatural grace for speed in life hallelujah i decree and declare that every garment he saw joshua the high priest and he said to remove that garment every garment you are wearing that is attracting bad luck attracting all kinds of things the bible says to give them a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness i tear off that garment from your life i tear off that garment from your life garment of reproach i tear it off from your life i tear it off from your life in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare divine direction lord what do i do where do i go to tonight by dreams and visions and strange encounters i provoke divine direction to come to your direction in the name of jesus christ master we have toiled all night but i prophesy to you go back this time around to the same place you failed I anoint you go and succeed. I anoint you go and succeed. I anoint you go and surpass the ordinary in the name of Jesus Christ. Every door that has refused to open, your parents tried it, refused to open. The Bible says, Lift up your heads, O ye gates and be ye lifted O ye not doors ancient doors i come against every ancient door and every gate swing open now in the name of jesus swing open now in the name of jesus swing open now in the name of jesus every helper that must arise tonight not tomorrow tonight every helper ordained by god to rise up and come to your aid i provoke favor towards you 
from them i provoke favor towards you from them i provoke favor towards you from them listen whoever has what it takes to help you in the name of jesus i direct their eyes to you i say it again whoever has what it takes to help you i direct their hearts to you the same mystery that bound jonathan and david i declare wherever your helper is let it be as it were for jonathan and david in the name of jesus christ all those in ministry here i prophesy to you a strange unction upon the work on your hands step into a new direction step into a new dimension in the name of jesus christ every family here that has cried that's all you've known to do cry and cry and say when will god deliver us i declare that your weeping has endured enough i prophesy your morning comes and with it joy in the name of jesus christ those writing exams let the mercy of god the mercy that helped those who went before you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you may that same mercy speak for you hallelujah there are people here you are sensing that your spiritual life is dry it's not like you don't love god but revelations they don't come as they used to come again sometimes you open your bible you cannot even read to pray you are sensing something is wrong it's like you know your spiritual life is under attack in the name of jesus christ i launch you to the new a new insight a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter a new dimension of encounter the lord will open your eyes to not only listen to teachings but to get the spirit of the message there are some of us the devil has cheated us by allowing our prayer altar go down in the name of jesus tonight let fire from heaven fall upon your prayer life let the quickening of the spirit fall upon your prayer life every wrong friend in your life whether you want them to go or not in the name of jesus for the sake of god's hand upon your life i separate you with them forever this night i separate you with them forever time wasters destiny wasters i cause a separation between you and them forever we're rounding up some of us here are plagued with the spirit of laziness spiritual laziness mental laziness physical laziness the bible says a lazy hand a slothful hand will that a one that deals with a slothful hand will beg he will become poor i decree and declare the spirit of productive diligence not just diligence the spirit of productive diligence i release it upon you right now are you ready to receive favor i will continue to pray favor upon your life until it works i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ even if you have seen favor in your life by the grace of god i release you to a new order of favor a new order of favor a new order of favor favor is not when you have money favor is when men arise by god to meet your needs if you have money and men don't come to your life you are not favored you are only prosperous you are not favored favor is when men arise that before you call they come they don't come and go they come and stay until the purposes of god have been achieved i call them now from the east the west the north and the south help us of your destiny may they appear before you in the name of jesus christ I don't know what personal request you desire from God 
but I release my faith with you. And I declare that by miracle service may, you will only return rejoicing over that issue. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone here trusting God for a good job, not just a job that you look like a slave, a job with honor. In the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Between now and next miracle service, may God bless you with a job that will launch you to a new dimension. Everyone in business here, the God factor, the favor factor, the help factor, the Ebenezer factor, I release it upon your business. I release it upon your field of endeavor. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, where thou hast been rejected so that no man will pass through you. It says, I will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. I decree and declare, may your gates be continually open. Now, I want to pray a prayer that may be very strange for some of us. I want to pray that somebody will give you money. Listen. Hold on. Listen. We are not money mongers. This is not some carnal thing. There are some of you, this is what you need. You don't need advice. You don't need counseling. You just need help. Straight help. I pray for you. You will be surprised. It will look like a dream. I pray for you. Not a helper, not access. Thank God for it. But a helper that will come with the financial resource to help you. I stretch my hands and I release it upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The anointing for miracles. Help that guy. The anointing for signs the anointing for wonders whether you are called in ministry or not in the name of jesus may you carry it in your spirit from today begin to reproduce a new order of signs and wonders and finally i pray for you whatever needs to be done for your family members to rejoice in the lord between now and the next 30 days whatever needs to be shaken whatever needs to be overturned in the name of jesus christ joy for your family members joy to your family members in the name of jesus christ Let it be so in the name of Jesus Christ. And for every, for every worker here, in the name of Jesus Christ, after tonight, rise with a new level of evidence. Become a testament. Not just a testament of a believer in Christ, but a testament that you belong to this spiritual family. The grace to prove it, let it be released upon you. In the name of Jesus. Whoever fights you, may he find himself fighting himself. Whoever fights your family, may they fight themselves. They will point the knife at you and hurt themselves. In the name of Jesus Christ.